Yo, 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 people, it's another episode of Truth and Banter, it's your boy Flash, we got Big J behind the scenes, and yo, today we got none other than Mr. Free Your Mind. Come bro, on, bro, 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 bro. free your mind to the world and back, you already know. <laughs> my bro, my Aye. bro. Thanks for inviting me, bro. Yo, man, Appreciate it's a pleasure, it. it's a pleasure to have you here today. Come on. And the reason why I really got you here is because, and sorry, today's episode is about transition, people. I'm Mr. Ah. Today's episode's about transition. Yeah. And this is the perfect man to talk about it because he's a your transformational teacher, isn't it? That's it, TT. So I always see you on Instagram and I used to see you putting up these posts, but I used to think you was a motivational speaker. But ah. then when I, <laughs> when I spoke to you, you said, no, it's transformation. Straight. So what's the difference? I'll get to that. Yeah, because do you know what? The way I see it, mm. motivation fades away. You understand what I'm saying? Motivation okay. fades away. I might see okay. you now, I'm going to motivate you for the two seconds, but when you go back to the ends, you still see the same dirts. Mm -hmm. You still see the same gang. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's why I said, don't call me motivational speaker because I'm not here to fade away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Call me transformational teacher because mm -hmm. I talk from pain to power and how you find your purpose. Mm -hmm. Straight. Okay. Big, yeah. Big, big. Come right. on. Given what you just said, what pain did you go through for you to come to this stage, for you to about your life what so quick with breakdown. me yeah quick breakdown so mm. like i was born in germany i know people okay. are like what wait hold on german, black, black german black, Ger black german <laughs> like what you know what i'm saying like call me bg you know black german i was born mm. in germany mm. and um with 14 i decided to come to london because i used to come on holiday okay and i just liked it seeing a lot of black people the, mm -hmm. the language english you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying so i thought to myself oh Let's just come over. And I was moving a bit wild while I was in Germany. Okay. So really and truly, I wanted to come and just tone down and relax, mm -hmm. not knowing that. So there's a few black people in Germany? Oh, in Germany, yeah. yeah. Because I was born in Hamburg. Okay. Hamburg is north of Germany, yeah? Okay. So north of Germany, it's multicultural. It's like London. Okay. Blacks, okay. Turks, Somali, okay. everything. So you don't mm -hmm. really you don't really feel like you're out of place, if okay. you know what I'm saying. But if okay. you go to South Germany, mm -hmm. that's totally a different, different thing. That's yeah? a total different thing. Okay, that's the Germany probably that I've got pictured in. That yes. Most people got pictured in there. Yes, because when they hear me saying, oh, I was born in Germany, straight away they look at me like, wait, mm. are you all right? Like, is everything, <laughs> <laughs> is everything okay? Listen, my brother, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 so yeah, north of Germany, mm -hmm. multicultural. So if you want to go to Germany, Berlin mm -hmm. and Hamburg, okay. I'll tell you straight, mm -hmm. go and enjoy your time there. But yeah. I was moving a bit mad, you mm -hmm. know. I was very active, energetic, as mm -hmm. you can tell. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I'm older. I piped down yeah, a bit, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I said to my parents, I'm, I want to move to London. And my, my dad looked at me and he started laughing. Mm -hmm. He said, ha, 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 ha. You're not African dad watching mm -hmm. TV. He's not even looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum was like, there's no way you're moving to London. Yeah. So I was persistent. I was just pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And they're like, you know what? Go to London. We'll see you back after two weeks. Mm -hmm. So they said to me, we're booking you a ticket for two weeks and we, we guarantee you will come back. Okay. Listen, 17 years later, I'm still here. Okay. 17 years, I'm still here. But yeah, when I moved to um, London, I moved to Brixton, mm -hmm. you know, Loughborough Estate. Okay. And I had a few cousins there that were involved mm -hmm. in gangs. Mm -hmm. So as you can imagine, you're a young black kid. You're mm -hmm. looking up to your older cousins, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're saying to you, hey, do your parents send you money? And I'm like, no, not really. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know hold this little 50 pound here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you're 15, you're yeah. gassed. Mm -hmm. 50 mm -hmm. pounds, what? Cool, mm -hmm. hold that, hold that, hold that, drop this there, hold this, hold that. And then later on it became a thing where my own cousins were like, yeah, you know your partner, isn't it? And I was like, part of what? So don't worry, you're family anyways. Mm -hmm. You see, so. so- That's how you basically got yeah. involved and in. And that's how I got involved in, you know, mm -hmm. I can call it grooming, mm -hmm. making me feel comfortable around mm -hmm. them. Dashing mm -hmm. me money, making mm -hmm. me feel big. Yeah. You know, if anyone touches you, listen, just say my name. You know you're my family. Mm -hmm. So now I was like, oh, that's my cousin. Not knowing that it's actually not my cousin. Because mm -hmm. a real cousin that got love for you, he wouldn't try to push you into the gang thing. No, for real. You understand what I'm saying to you? No, so that's when I got involved in, you know, a lot of madness. Mm -hmm. um, yes, start stabbing people, got stabbed myself. Mm. And then I had to move from London to Leeds, if anyone know West Yorkshire. Yeah. Yeah, because London got really, really political for me. Okay. And then when I moved to West Yorkshire, now Leeds, mm. I moved to the hood called Chapel Town. Okay. And one of the guys came up to me saying, yo, where are you from? I said, I'm from Germany. Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, you think you can take the piss with me? I said, what do you mean? He's like, dude, you don't sound like a German. I said, okay. oh, no, do you know where it is? Um, I moved to London. Bam. 
That's what happened when you went straight away. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is how it goes. Like, what, just off nothing? Off nothing. Just came to ask me where you're from. I said, Germany. He thought I'm taking the piss. Because mm -hmm. he's like, you're not from Germany. I can tell you from London. I was thinking, look, you're not even educated enough to know that my accent is mixed up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's how you know yeah, you're, you're finished. Mm -hmm. so, so you just thought he was taking the piss, basically. Yes. And then from then, I started moving reckless in Leeds. Mm -hmm. And then. Mm, oh, yeah. oh! Listen, when he punched me, he was with like four or five of his guys. So I had, to, I was a smart guy from okay, early. I wasn't okay, reckless okay, and okay. stupid. He's outnumbered. Yeah, outnumbered. So I was like, "All right, cool." And they were like, "Yeah, what do you mean cool? What do you mean cool?" I said, "I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna come on that aggy tip and be like, what, what? Nah." I said, "It's all good." Mm. Phone a couple of my brethren, told them what happened. They were like, "Rah, Lita, it's a long drive, you know, my guy. Mm. It's a long drive, four hours. You know, humble yourself. Do you know what they're from?" And I said, "Yeah, they're from the same." Hood mm -hmm. is me. They're like, cool. You know, take time. Act like the one. We're going to come on the weekend. Mm. They came on the weekend. We couldn't find them, couldn't find them, couldn't find them. I saw one of the guys that I recognized. I said, you know what? I don't really want to do something to you, but I need to speak to you, that guy that punched me. He's like, oh, I don't even know him. I said, listen, don't try it now, you know. Let's mm. be real. He showed us where he lived. He came out. Boom, boom, boom. You know? And then mm -hmm. once we done that, that's when my respect was just big mm -hmm. in Chapel Town. Like anyone mm -hmm. that knows, you know, they could just vouch for it. And then from then, mm -hmm. my ego pff, was just up the roof. So, so it just continued, basically. So it continuation, got even worse. Basically. It got even worse because I was thinking, I'm not from around here. Look what I can do around here. Mm -hmm. So now I felt like, ooh, mm -hmm. like who wants it? Yeah, of course. And then, yeah, man. And then obviously, but so, I got, like, I lost a couple of brothers. You know, okay. like on the way, I lost, I lost a couple of brothers and then I realised that, listen, I can't do this whole gang banging, fighting. Mm -hmm. Listen, I didn't come here for this. So what was the main thing that made you say, hold on, hold up? When I lost one of my best friends, I came to London for his birthday. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, some people might be too young. It's called Freaky Friday, Stratford Rex. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, he knows. Yeah, yeah. He, knows. he knows, he knows, he knows straight away. <laughs> So we went to Freaky Friday, had a good night. Some mm. girls came over the table, yeah. banter, drinking. And I could just see one of the girls kept on texting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I looked over and I was like, what are you doing? So my boy was like, stop being paranoid, man. It's just a girl. Mm. I was like, cool, maybe it's the drinks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Chilling, chilling, chilling. So the girls were like, oh, we want to leave now. I was thinking, wait, this is a bit fishy. You want to mm. leave now? I was like, let me see your phone. And the girl said, what do you mean see my phone? No. And then my guys were like, your prince. So you suspicious. I was suspicious, suspicious from early. Because I was like, how these girls here just came straight on our table, trying to act all nice. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. I see them taking pictures on the low. And I was like, mm. okay. Mm. So then my boy was like, yo, P, calm down, man. You moving he just a bit thought it's just girls that just yeah, come to the table. And like, girls relax be. yourself. Mm. It's just girls, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you moving mm -hmm. all like, come on, relax. Is it the juice? Calm down on your juice. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I said, all right, cool. Maybe it's the juice. Yeah. We go outside now. 15 to 20 men ballied up. Ballied up. Boom. We looked out the thing. We we're like, right, we can't go out. Not knowing that one of the bouncers is actually cool with them, brothers. So he was like, no, no, no. You guys have to get out now. Mm. We're like, oh, it's like that, yeah? It's like, yes, it's like that, bro. You can't come and flash in here, B. Do you know where you are? That's what the bouncer says. That's what the bouncer said. And I was like, okay. So the girls run out. They're like, yeah, come outside then. Come out. So mm, I looked okay. around. I said, okay, that's what it is. It was only five five of us, yeah? Mm -hmm. Came out. Boom, boom, boom. We getting it. Everyone is getting it. Wait, wait, hold on one second. So basically, they've come outside. Is it because you're shining? Is there, is there some background to this? Or we is it just strictly nah, because you're in the club we in the shine, club and you're and they're basically not fit because you're in the club exactly that we're in the club you know we were just buying drinks mm. you know acting loud we yeah. Were like, yeah we came from south da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. so my guys were thinking come on man the girls are on us because we're shining mm -hmm. but i already you know what the i mean was a bit fishy you see mm. so from that alone when we stepped out we were getting it getting it getting it getting it and then next thing i see <clears throat> i look to my left and i see one of my guys, my best friend, Kwame, rest in peace, mm -hmm. got stabbed and they zipped him open. Wow. So obviously his inside, vroom, fell out. So while I was running to him, I was still getting rushed, whatnot. I tried to hold us inside, like back in, and tried to hold him, yeah? And I just looked at him. While I was looking at him, yeah? And I had his insides in my arm, trying to put it back in. I got stabbed quickly. Wham, wham. 
But you know, because you're in the moment, you don't really realize. So you see, before this altercation happened, it was there was there words exchanged between you and the other guys? Not really. No. Nah. 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 No words. They just thought these guys from outer ends in the club shining. Yes. They're gonna fuck you up. They tried to jack you. Straight. Oh yeah, hundred percent. They did as well. Hundred okay, percent. So Took a couple of watches, mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, mm -hmm. come on, man. Mm -hmm. Some alcohol masters and that you know from back in the day. So mm -hmm. listen, when that happened, obviously police came, ambulance came. Da -da 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 -da. Um, they took him away. They took me away, and then I was just in the hospital, and I found out that he died. Yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, listen, I just came to London to party with my boys to go back to Leeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was like, I need to change something, man. Hundred percent. I need to change something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's like. If I don't change something, it's gonna be me next. So who's mm -hmm. gonna write the story? It's just mm -hmm. gonna go around circles. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The youngsters will just they'll mm -hmm. just walk around the blind following the blind. Mm -hmm. And then, bro, went back to Leeds. I had like at least a month, two months just by myself, be mm. darkest times. Reflecting. Reflecting. Everything. I was thinking, listen, uh, it's what my thoughts came into your head through that in that time. Listen, in that time I was like, hey, maybe it's my fault, you know. I should have just told the man them to duck. Mm. I shouldn't have let the man them come and say it's the juice. Mm. Is it my Because you knew, because you clocked as well from early. from early. Mm. So I was eating myself up, as mm. you can imagine, you know? Mm. I was like, nah, it's my fault. So then I was like, listen, maybe I just need to go so everything is even. Mm. Like I was talking madness to myself, mm -hmm. you see? And that's why whenever I talk about you have to lose yourself to find yourself to recreate yourself mm -hmm. i'm talking from experience mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. like i had to lose myself mm. to then find myself gain mm -hmm. strength and then the recreation is mr free your mind mm -hmm. you understand Thanks. like Come on. so from then it was hard because i was angry as you guys can imagine of course yes. Come on. yeah mm. i was like if i find this girl if i find that bouncer mm. Straight arms, there's no questions mm. asked. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm not a stupid guy. While I'm in Leeds, let me take this education thing serious. Mm -hmm. Went to college, done it. And I said to myself, I actually want to go to uni. And I actually want to mm -hmm. see what it's about. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can do it. Mm. And I said, I'm not going to go back to uni and let me go to Manchester now. Mm -hmm. Applied for Manchester Metropolitan, got mm -hmm. accepted. Mm -hmm. And then once I was in there, I was still selling food and whatnot, you mm. know, still a bit gas. But then I thought to myself, so it was always, I moved two steps forward, 10 steps back. Mm. You see, I'm like, ah, oh, no, I need to change. And then I get gas and I'm like, Tch. change get for caught, man. Mm. Get caught in it. And then, yeah, and then we thank God, by God's grace, I finished uni, I accomplished it. Mm -hmm. Studied international business and Spanish. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. And then from then, things start looking up, up, mm -hmm. up, up, up. And then, yeah, man. Um, linked up with one of my guys, shout out Dennis. He was mm. like, Yo, bro, I see big potential in you. Mm. You know, your past, like, you're unstoppable, be. You're mm -hmm. still shining. Usually, people like you is either jail or death. Yeah, you know what I mean? You came out of the thing, so. You're still growing. You're still growing. Do you not want to do something for the youth, for the youth, them, like, for the, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I said, I love it, but who's going to listen to me? Who's mm. going to listen to me, man? You know what mm. I mean? Drug dealer, you know, used to bang F. No one's going to listen to me. I'm from Germany, bro. Like, it's long. Mm -hmm. It's like, listen, I see potential in you, bro. And the way you always talking freely, you should definitely do something. I was mm. like, what though? I was like, I don't even, I don't even know what, what to call myself. And he was like, bro, you always free your mind. And I was like, huh? <laughs> yeah? I was like, if that's the case, you know what? Cool. I call myself Mr. Free Your Mind. Yeah, okay. And then from then, jeez. Was to free your mind. Was to free your mind. Was created, man. Was <laughs> created. Rebirth. You see what I'm saying? Uh, no, definitely. Big, big, and big. Here we are today, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big, 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 big. How can you say the transition feels to the people that haven't made it yet? Because there's still people our age and older that haven't mm. made the transition. Yeah, very true. Listen. Very, very true. It's it, what I have to tell people is, mm. fell forward. Double F. Fell forward. Yeah, mm. you will fail. No matter what you start in life, yeah, you will fail, you will stumble, you will hit, yeah? But I just want you to know, my definition of success mm. 
it's not about who's got the biggest car, how many houses you got, mm -hmm. how much money you invested in your crypto and all of that. Mm. My definition of success is you keep on going. A lot of people think success is when you reach. You reach your destination. But what? Okay, cool. So you have a destination you reached. Does it mean you reach your success? Mm. I want people to understand that success means never giving up. Success means failing forward. Success means you're at a place right now where your eyes are blocked, yeah? Mm. But it's not about that. It's about how you feel within. Because we have a lot of people that still live in the ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they come outside their yard, the street, see the man, them, they're like, yo, what, what are you saying, B? I know it's hard, guys. I know it's hard, but you have to understand, overstand, and understand that this life that you chose is for you. Mm -hmm. So that's why when I speak to the to the man, them in Brixton, and when I speak to the man, them in Hackney, where all my cousins are, I ask them a simple question. I don't come and lecture them. Mm -hmm. Youth man, them, they don't like this whole lecturing point thing. I say this mm -hmm. if you had a son, and he says to you right now, he wants to be like you, dad. How would you feel? Oh, P, allow it, man. You know the answer. No, no, I know the answer. I want to hear it from you. Mm. He said, but allow it. Of course not. Why not? But if you know what we do, cool. Hold that thought. I never mm. say you're doing wrong or you're doing right. Mm. I always give them something to hold on to. So when they go home, mm -hmm. they think about it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So then I ask him another question. So you have a daughter. Come on, man. We all know mm. our daughter's princess, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You love her. Cool. Your daughter brings a guy like you home. How would you feel? But are you mad? Oh, I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> now he's telling me, are you mad? I said, okay, so you know the answer. <laughs> you know? So I'm like, so I'm not telling you to change, but you already uh, know yeah, yeah. that you have to do something mm. in order to be something. Mm -hmm. So the one thing I'm going to advise demand them or even girls because we have girls that are in gangs right True. it says see you later rather than a goodbye come out the ends move somewhere try change your life for you mm. yeah but try at least a lot of people they say to themselves i can't do it so of course you can't do it mm -hmm. you know the person that says i can, I can do right. it and i can't it's let me ask you this yeah because for you you're saying this now yeah yeah but you went through a lot mm to get to this yeah where you are yeah at that stage when you was back then mm -hmm. what was you do you think really there's any way that you could have changed your mentality without going through the real dark dark stuff that you had to go to no go through? no no definitely not i feel like i had to go through everything that i've been through so when you're speaking to them kids yeah knowing that you want to change yeah. is it possible for them to change or is it for you're just dropping the seeds there so maybe after when they go through that dark place i don't know i'm just... i like that question still do mm. you know what it is in my time mm. if i had a guy like me okay yeah okay 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 if i had a guy like me that's been through it mm. i'm not talking a guy that's read books and says i'm i've read this book and it says <laughs> you know them with that i've read this book and in chapter five it says if you know yeah, my guy experience <laughs> yeah, yeah, if yeah. i had a brother where i feel not even what he's saying because people talk, talk is cheap we know that mm. people can come sit on here and talk the, you know what i'm saying mm. no energy the experience mm. the rawness forget what he's saying with his mouth mm -hmm. look him in the eye and see what's going on mm -hmm. you over what i'm saying to you come on yeah don't just listen to my words to everyone that's listening here right now mm -hmm. don't look at me talking about what i've been through like feel the energy in the room feel it like mm -hmm. look in my eyes and see the hope see mm -hmm. the pain that i turn into power you see what i'm saying come you understand so it's a thing like that like if i had a guy like me talking mm -hmm. like that if we had these podcasts that you mm. doing, bro, mm. you're big, you know, God bless you, bro. Come on, man, thanks, bro. It would have, it would have healed me in, in different ways. Mm -hmm. It's just like being on the wrong road, yeah? And you're like, someone says, you don't go down there. Come on. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, not that simple. Yeah. Come on. Sometimes, mm -hmm. like, you know, like, people, we try to make it like, you know, like, giving people advice is, like, complicated. Mm -hmm. But literally, yeah. it's like someone giving you direction. Come on. No, You've definitely. been lost before. Someone mm, gave you directions. Yeah. But, but what it is, is there we go. But it's what it is is realizing and accepting your loss. No, because some, some as people, well. Some people will say that guy's directing me in the wrong way for no reason. Yeah. For no reason. Some people mm, actually yeah, just and some people just follow the direction mm, and then get to where they need to get yeah. to. Hundred percent. Absolute facts, and that's what I feel like. To be honest with you, with mm. the kids nowadays, they need to fall. They need to hit. Mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Me talking alone is not enough. Mm-hmm. Me talking about my experiences mm-hmm. and my else that I took mm-hmm. and the people that I've lost, they'll be like, all right, cool, yeah, I lost some people. Mm-hmm. The youth man, them don't want to listen. They want to feel yeah, yeah, before yeah. they start listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, But what we can do is we can tell them what we've been through mm-hmm. in order to be here. That's why I like what you said. You've been through a lot, but you're still here. A lot of people, they like to glamorize this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on, man. I used to shot in that. Bought a couple of LV tops, you know. I'm an <laughs> out there. You know, you don't like to talk about the dirty the, truth. The, yeah, the truth. You know, you want to talk about beautiful lies. Just say one side of the story. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. You see no, it? 100%. Yeah. No, big up, big up, big mm-hmm. up, big up. Yeah. Come on, man. It's the side of it where people do that. Like, what, I feel like a lot of people haven't been through things. I don't know mm-hmm. what you thought of things. Yeah. But you know when people still glorify it at like this, like, yeah. at a certain point, I feel like you haven't been through Yeah, they haven't, yeah. You to, haven't hit rock bottom. still high, hold it at a high... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in their life, it just shows that they haven't really been through stuff to deep it Listen, to know what they're actually facts. glorifying. You understand? Facts, because mm. because very good point there. Do you know what it is? Because do you know what I realize nowadays, the guys that have been through the maddest things, they're the most positives nowadays. Mm-hmm. Yo, 100%. you come to a room, wow, go on by that, yeah. boom, yeah. boom. <laughs> you know love. what I'm saying? It's all love, you know, because we know what we've been through. Yeah, 100%. You understand? But yeah. then, when you come into a room and you see one brother moving all like, what, looking around and... Yeah. Uh, trying to feel you out. Trying, trying to, yeah, to feel you out. You haven't been through nothing. That's why you're looking like that, my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you haven't been through nothing. Nothing real deep. <laughs> nothing real deep, nothing real deep, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's surface do stuff. And surface then stuff. Like, you know you're what I'm saying? Band. Come on, you what, you robbed the guy in Morley, so like, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand too, yeah? yeah? Come on, but let's be real. What You went to jail because what you said, oh, fuck you to a police officer, allow it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <know? say? laughs> you beat up the traffic warden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that, my guy. <laughs> you gotta say, come on, but let's, let, 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 but let's be real. The best people that keep the road alive, I always say that. Yeah. Facts. They, yeah, they really, keep it. They just stayed on the fence, listen to the music, wore the clothes. Facts. Yeah. yeah. That's they keep else. it alive and glorify it yeah, and try to pick it up. Absolutely. Mm. You know. People actually feel it. Yeah, what would I say yeah. is like facts. I would say like sometimes see mm. the people on the fence, as Jay said, yeah. Mm. Sometimes the people on the fence, yeah. yeah, their glorifying was not really positive. Mm. Sometimes I feel that sometimes they might be sitting on the fence and like be upset with <laughs> <laughs> upset with you like when they see one of your posts like yo you're a king yeah. and the, I can probably feel them like what the fuck, what the, what the fuck <laughs> that this guy think he is. But you know a lot of the people like that yeah are your are, um, victims let's just say I'm not gonna say it, all, mm. everyone's victims mm-hmm. so those people that are victims they still hold grudges Absolutely. while people are transitioning. Mm. Hundred percent. J J J J just took it there. Hundred percent. You know, okay. Like, you know, okay. I, I, forgive me. I've, I'm past that. Yes, yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you're not. You've still held because you you stayed on the fence. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should have came that time. Yeah. Or maybe you should have. One hundred. Should have come out. Yeah, yeah. So you was able to. F- yes. So <laughs> you were able fell. to take that fell. You fell, understand take that? The fell. Mm-hmm. I like what Jay just mm-hmm. said there because yeah. because there's one thing that I always say when I go to events. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I say I believe we can all fly. And then people look at me mad, yeah? Mm-hmm. And I say to them, you see, when I speak, make sure you ask questions. Because if you don't ask questions, you think I'm talking mad. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So one of the girls was like, okay, Mr. Freeman, what do you mean by fly? Like, when you said that, I thought you were moving mad. Mm-hmm. And I said, thanks for asking. I said, my definition of fly is mm-hmm. first, love yourself. Okay, okay, first, okay. First, love okay. yourself. Okay. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. First, love yourself. Right. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So once you can first love yourself, that's when you start spreading your wings. Mm-hmm. And even if someone comes with bad energy, listen, because I love myself so much, I love you too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah? And I had it so many times, like, for example, when I go see some of my brothers and it's in the other ends, mm-hmm. and I see a couple of the youth, man, and they're just looking. Mm-hmm. And then I look back and they're like, what are you looking at? So I go and I'm like, but it's not even that type of party, man. They're like, yeah, but you're not from around here. I'm like, my guy, it's not even about that. But I understand why you're moving like that. Mm-hmm. Because you're scared that I'm going to see the pain through your eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And I said one thing. How do you know I was looking at you if you wasn't looking at me? Yeah? You're seeing what you're looking at. But mm-hmm. really and truly, if you're minding your business, you wouldn't even realise that I'm looking mm-hmm. at you. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So I said, listen, it's all calm. Relax yourself, man. Yeah, no, it wasn't even like that. We thought you were one of the ops. I said, allow it. 
Because mm. you're talking about ops, 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 yeah? If you look yourself in the mirror, the people that you're attacking are yourself. The oh, reason why you're attacking them oh, is because you don't love yourself. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking from experience, mm-hmm. yeah? I used to have some self-hate and I'm so mm-hmm. angry about the world. And mm-hmm. so when I see someone looking like me and he's mm-hmm. moving a bit funny, mm-hmm. it's on. Hundreds. Not because of what that person has done, mm-hmm. because how I see myself. Mm-hmm. So that's why I want everyone to understand people that are moving mad mm. are moving mad because they're mad at themselves. 100. So they have to learn to fly, man. Mm-hmm. First love yourself and then everything else will just be easy for you mm-hmm. to fly, man. 100%. When, you see your, when you see your ref- your reflection, people that look like you, you're just gonna be, it's just going to be a loving frequency that you're emitting. Absolutely. Absolutely, bro. Because we struggle with it even now. You know, like, even though we decide to every love day, ourselves. Every day, you know, like, every day. With each other. Yeah, it's a constant, fear, you know what I'm constant battle, bro. It's a constant yeah, 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 yeah. battle. It's a constant battle. And this mm-hmm. is what I want people to understand. Don't think because I'm sitting on here and I'm talking about this that I'm not going through it myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah? But my definition of life is to go and get it regardless. Mm-hmm. I always mm-hmm. say God would never throw an obstacle at you not knowing that you can't jump it. Yeah? 100%. A lot of people are, are praying for better things, are meditating for better things. Listen, if you pray for rain, you have to expect mud. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. don't, don't just expect rainbow when it's raining, mm. yeah? And then when mud happens, you're like, oh my God, I didn't expect it. Mm. That means you're not ready for what you're praying for, my brother. No, yeah? So, yeah, man. Mm. Let's just keep it very true. You know what I'm saying? And that's, mm. why, that's why I thank God for this podcast, because we can keep it real. So people yeah. can connect, you understand? 100%. I'm not going to come with this whole, yeah, the life was okay, but we thank God I'm here now. What do you mean? Mm. Give me examples. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give me examples. No, so, yeah, man. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. No, 100%. You know? So how did you eventually get into, I know you've, you spoke at different places, haven't you? Where's the that most, like, place that, that you remember that's like stood out that you spoke? Because I know you, you've spoken in a lot of places, isn't it? A lot of places internationally as well. Yeah? Yeah, man. Okay. It, like, listen. What all, countries have you done? Uh, I've done Germany. Okay. I've done hometown. France. Oh. I'm on hometown. <laughs> hometown straight. I've done um, Portugal. Mm. And then a lot of places in UK. Okay. And I'm looking to um, go to America as well, by God's grace, man. Yeah, come you know on. What I'm saying so. Yeah, you're good there. Come you on. Listen. Be like football teams and things like that. You should, man. Listen, <laughs> Jay, you're a madman, you know. That's what one of my guys was saying. My guys were saying, you see, you should talk to like football teams and, you know, like, because you're going to give oh, them okay. so much power and vim. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I said, you know what? I might have to mm-hmm. as well. They'll take you pre-game. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. need someone like you in there. Listen. Yeah. Say it, pre-game. Come on. Come on. They lost that side. You understand, Jay? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, before, yeah. before the final yeah, in that, talk, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They come out on the, on the second half yeah, and just, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shut it down. Yeah, come on. But yeah, to answer your question, like, um, I think mm. one of the most remarkable talks that I done was to um, some girls, yeah? Okay. It was like a dancing academy. Mm. And I think they were between the age of nine and 13. Okay. Listen, that one was, it was mad. At first I was thinking, why should I go and talk to them? And they wouldn't understand what I'm mm. saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what can I say At to the them? Age, yeah. Mm. But then I realized that a lot of these girls don't have um, their fathers in their life. Very true. Yeah. So when I was talking and I was saying, listen, you're a queen, no matter what a guy says to you, keep on going, mm. yeah? They don't know who you are, you know who you are. In my head, I was like, oh, they're young, they'll probably not get it. Mm. But once I finished that talk, yeah? yeah? The way they came to me, they're like, thank you so much. This is the words that I needed. Mm. I know my mom always says that to me, but it's different when it comes from, coming like, from a man. Yo. Mm. That touched me differently. You're saying it with conviction as well. Boom. You know what I'm mm. saying? Fire. Mm. So listen, don't let anyone come to your control. Mm. Like, we need you. You mm. know what I'm saying? We need you. Like, that, that was mm. emotional, man. It was Pretty like, cool. I think like 50 or 60 little girls. Mm-mm-mm. It was peak. Yeah. <laughs> like, man, that's big, bro. Big trust up, me. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Especially from where we come from to just mm. stand in front of kids and do that. Mm. Aye. You yeah, know what I'm saying? On. What's your relationship like with God? Oh. You see, mm. my, hey, Jay's come with them questions. <laughs> We're taking it. Right, let me take a sip before Jay. Jay's moving, man. Ooh. I like it. I like it. I like it. Jay, keep on coming with these questions, man. What do you mean? My relationship with God, let me tell you this, yeah. 
in 2009, mm. let me be specific, on the 18th of January 2009, mm -hmm. my relationship was splendid with God. Why was it splendid? Because as you can see on my neck, I have um, my daughter mm -hmm. on my neck, yeah? Mm -hmm. She was born on the 18th of Jan 2009. Okay. So I said to God, if you give me my daughter, I promise I'm going to stop the whole gang thing. Yeah? I'm going to put it down because now I have a why. Mm -hmm. I have a reason mm -hmm. to stay alive. I have a mm -hmm. reason to do things right. Yeah. Cool. Happy. I'm only 18 at the time. Mm -hmm. Happy. You know what I'm saying? Father and that. Cool. She came up premature. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Six weeks. Mm hmm I was in college and I received a call. Oh yeah, um, I was speaking to you, yeah, Prince. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, can you come to the hospital, please? Yeah, no worries. Nothing in my mind, you know, mm -hmm. all calm. Walk to the hospital, now I'm starting. You know when you get closer to a place, mm -hmm. you start getting a bit more, like you see, let me keep it real. You know like when, you, when you're outside and you know you need to piss. And then you know you're, you're getting closer to your toilet and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. now it's getting uncontrollable. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you start doing the Harlem shake and that. Cool. <laughs> That's how it was. I got closer to the hospital and I was like, what's going on? They're like, ah, oh, so yeah, we have a few complications. And mm. I said, my guy, talk to me properly. Yeah. Straight to the point. Mm. Stop talking around the bush. Um, yeah, well, your daughter might be disabled um, for a few years. I said, okay, that's why you, call that's why you called me. Mm. I said, yeah. Let her be disabled. It's my daughter. I'm going to take out my daughter. Yeah. Disabled or not, it's my blood. Mm -hmm. Is that really why you called me? Yeah, well, we have to let you know. You couldn't tell me over the phone. Nah, did it has to be face to face. What were you expecting me to say? I mm -hmm. said, if my daughter is going to be disabled, I'm going to take her, my daughter. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, no problem. Left now. I was nearly at home. You know, them times there, no car. Taking the bus, mm -hmm. catching the bus. I'm nearly at home. Oh, we need you to come back as soon as possible. I was thinking, what? Mm -hmm. Okay, boom, around, went back. Okay, so we've done further checks and um, her heart is not really, you know, racing, normal, da -da -da -da. she's on a life support machine now. And there's no way she can go through this. There's no way she can go through this. So I said, Doc, what do you mean? You know, I, I spoke to God. And I said, if God gives me my daughter, I'm stopping everything. Mm. So do you want me to act like I'm God now and take my daughter's life away? Or what are you telling me? He's like, well, we can't t turn off the life support machine. You have to do it as the parent. And I say, so what? You give me God's role. God gave me my daughter for a reason, dog. I said, I'm going to do my, my college thing. I'm going to change my life for my daughter. I said, I'm going to stop the whole gangbanging thing. No matter what consequence I was go I'm going to face because of my daughter. I said I'm gonna be a bigger person because of who? My daughter. And now you wanna take that one thing that I'm holding on away from me. Mm. You have to try your best, man. I'm not taking this. Okay, well, um, we'll try our best. I said, no, nah, do your best. I don't like the word try. Mm. Do your best. We stayed in the room, me and the baby mom came back saying, you know what? Sorry this is to disappoint you. We need to turn it off because now she's gonna be in pain. 18 year old youth man born in Germany Ghanaian heritage moved to London mm. I'm coming to turn off my daughter's life support in my sheet B the 30th of Jan 12 days later Mad. so I said okay give me one moment send my baby mama out send the doctor and I said God is that how it is yeah okay so he gave to me to give me like a little Teaser, tester, and now you've taken my wire away. Say no more. Went out, I said, doctor, let's do it. Yo, my hands were shaking like mad. You can imagine. You're taking a life away. Not our life away, my baby girl's life, you know? Mm -hmm. Cool. Turned it off, took a couple of pictures. Done the um, funeral and everything. Da -da 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 -da. And it took me years. It took me, yo, seven, eight years, yeah, to have a convo with God again and to say, I know why you took her away from me. The reason why you took her away from me is because you knew I wasn't ready for my daughter. Mm. You knew I couldn't give her what she needs, what she deserves. So God, I understand you. You didn't mm. take her away from me. You saved her from me. 
yo, deep that. Mm-hmm. He didn't take it away from me. He saved it from me. Mm-hmm. You understand saying to you? Mm-hmm. And then from that day, from that time, when I was 24, 25. I said, God, I'm going to honor you, man. I'm going to honor you, you know? And that's why when people say, are you religious? I says, no, 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 no. I'm not religious, B. When it comes to me, my God, it's a relationship. Mm-hmm. You understand? It's mm-hmm. a relationship with God. Mm-hmm. Too many people nowadays, they believe more in their pastor than they believe in God. Mm-hmm. They believe more in their congregation, in their church, than they believe in them being closer with God and have mm-hmm. a convo. You see it? Yeah, very true. So with me, that's why, listen, I have alarm sets on my, on my watch since 2015, every day, 3.33 a.m., no matter how deep I'm sleeping, no matter where I am, if I'm setting, I step out and I pray quickly. Three mm. thirty-three a.m. for for the past six, seven years now. Yeah. Mm. Listen, come on. You know mm. what I'm saying? Them angel numbers and yeah, that. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Aye, <laughs> no, listen, no. we're there, we're there. You know. Yeah. So. What do you say? Every day, you say. Every day for the past six, seven years, bro. Yeah. Even if I'm at a settings, yeah, mm. and we join, we're, we're enjoying. Did it when I hear my phone doing did it? I'm like, hey guys, two seconds. No matter how, listen, it's mad. No matter how yacked I am or whatever, <laughs> I still step outside and I say, listen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you say you got there, yacht. You say, you say, <laughs> you know, oh say, God. Man goes out like, hey, God, I'm still here, you know. <laughs> you know, like that. Like, God, even though I'm yacked, I'm still here, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Take me, take, listen, they say, yes, God, God, you know what I'm saying? Take this, I am, I like, I'm yacked right now, take me. So, to answer your question, Jay, my relationship with God right now, is big because at the end of the day I believe everything that I'm doing I'm doing it for the kingdom that's right now, thank, you for sh- thank you for sharing that with us though I, I wasn't expecting that now come on I now come on come no, on come definitely. on transparent yeah. because no. the thing is you know what I'm saying the reason why I can share it with you guys mm-hmm. yeah and this is why I want all the viewers and the listeners to understand the reason why I can share it freely is because I've forgiven myself mm-hmm you understand? Mm-hmm. If it was a thing where I haven't forgiven myself I'll just come in here keep it very simple mm-hmm. oh yeah this and that yeah boom Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I want people to understand. Listen, in order for people to understand your message, let them hear your mess. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you understand. Mm-hmm. And I want people to understand yeah, as well. Time. Listen, in say order for girl, people to understand your message, mm-hmm. you have to talk about your mess. Yeah, and we know how message is spelled, right? Mess, yeah. age. Mm-hmm. So what I want people to understand when it comes to experiences. Mm. It's, a, it's not about age. It's about what you've been through. Mm-hmm. So your mess can start at any age, but make sure when you bring your message across, mm-hmm. they hear the mess because that's when people mm-hmm. will connect with you differently. 100%. You know, that's mm-hmm. why I call it the power of pain. Mm-hmm. You know, Bro. trust me. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Aye, thank you, Jay, man. Hey, okay. <laughs> listen, come on, we're trying, man. Yo, yo. yo. Yeah. I no, know, trust you're me. You're free of minds right now. Trust Listen. me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You no. know, th- that's why like, I want to bring different things. I don't want to come on here and then sit here and talk about things and people are like, oh, I heard it before though. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah? This is different now. Yeah, yeah, different sure. settings. 100. Different type of pain. Mm-hmm. But guess what? Still serving the same God. Mm-hmm. Maybe different names. Mm-hmm. Maybe you call it higher power. Mm-hmm. Yeah? The universe, mm-hmm. listen, it's the same God, B. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Regardless, you know? So, yeah, man, so to answer your question, Jay, I believe um, my relationship to God is is blessed. Why? Because my relationship to myself is blessed, mm-hmm. yeah? And once people understand that they are really God, yeah? People, don't lose me on this, because it says, you are made of the image of God. Mm-hmm. So once people understand that you are, yeah, like my tattoo says, everything that I need, I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Your relationship will be different. Mm-hmm. Everything you need, you are already. Mm-hmm. It just takes someone to trigger something. Mm-hmm. It's, already in you. To, it's already in you. Mm-hmm. It's already in you. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And that's why with me, whenever I go to events, whenever I go, I leave like a spirit in there. People don't mm. expect me to come and talk like that because mm. they see me stereotypical, innit? Beard, gold, tattoo. Mm. What is he gonna come and tell us, fam? <laughs> like, oh. But then when I start speaking, they'll be like, okay, this guy, he's he's touching me in some places that I've never mm. been. Whoa. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Uncontrollable. Listen, mm. <laughs> uncontrollable, unshakable. <laughs> you know? So yeah, mm. man. 
So yeah, I hope I answered your question, Jay, no, man. 100%. You know, you come on, yeah, come on. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I asked you what's your relationship. You I love that still, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. Now nah, come on. So, yeah. so what you say, um, given what you said, see your relationship with God. I know you said there's different paths, higher power, this one, that one, that one. So you saying it don't really matter the route that you go as long as you get that relationship. Yes, because. What you have to understand, I have a lot. I have a lot of like Akis. I have a lot of Muslim brothers as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So imagine me talking about God and Christianity. Did it? Every act that's that's watching your video now, mm. it's gonna be like, cool, allow it. <laughs> 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 you know, it's not related. It's not related to me now. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, he's talking about. Oh, he's talking about the Christianity. It's not related to me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? End of the day. Like we got some people that will say, I don't believe in Christianity. I'm not even a Muslim. I'm I'm a Hindu. Da, da, da. Okay, he's got but when I say, yeah, whatever you call it, higher power, Allah, da, 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 I call it God. That's mm-hmm. me personally, mm-hmm. yeah. But whatever you call it, I believe we still serve the it's one the same thing. God. You understand? hundred. The one God. Like, let me give you one example, yeah? Mm. Cool. We got Premier League, we got Champions League. We've got Sunday league, mm-hmm. we've got the Saturday league, yeah? Mm-hmm. Cool. But one thing you have to know, when we're playing football in the Premier League, Champions League, Sunday league, what are we using to play? The ball. The ball. Cool. It's the ball, right? But the leagues are just different names, right? Mm-hmm. And the goal is what? To win, right? Mm-hmm. And the goal is to do what? To score goals, right? Mm-hmm. There we go. Let me just leave it there. Mm-hmm. Simple. Allah, higher power, universe, did it? Do you know how I break it down sometimes as well? There's places mm. where they they don't practice mainstream religion. Mm. Yeah. Like in Amazon or something. Amazon, <laughs> Amazon, <laughs> yeah, Amazon, yeah, Amazon, yeah, 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 Amazon, yeah, yeah, Africa, yeah, yeah. yeah even come on, Caribbean, places that, yeah. yeah, yeah, come on. And they've got their, their own way of life. Yeah, and, and they've got their own way. And, and some of these places, don't, some of these places don't have libraries. Oh, they don't have books. Mm. Like that, like that. Yeah. Mm. So already, when you, when you remove the teachings and come you realize on. that. Again, yeah, but also, also they also meet with what we're doing. Come on, mm-hmm. when you're praising God and you're doing mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a frequency. No, 100%. You know what I mean? So, it's like, some people that haven't got books, 100 it's tapping into the frequency. Yeah. And as Mr. Free Your Mind says, 100 it's already within us, isn't it? Within us, B, you just sometimes you just need you see the things that we're saying are not new things, mm-hmm. we're not coming with any words that are different. But sometimes it just takes that one person to just trigger you in a different way. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That's what we got to say in the one that says I can and the one that says I can't, they're both right. Because mm-hmm. whatever you say to yourself, law of attraction, exactly. you invite it to yourself. Yeah. You yeah. see it? You might not see it right now, but you're inviting it to yourself. Mm-hmm. The same way, this is what I want people to understand. Yeah? I always say, God prepares the promise before he prepares the people. Yeah? Let me say that again. God prepares the promise before he prepares the people. Now, what do I mean? It means that everything that you're going to get, it was already written, okay? It was already written. The part, the, the pain, the hurt, the tribulations, the obstacles that you had to go through. You had to go through them in order for you to know how strong you are. Mm-hmm. In order for you to touch different people, all right? Mm-hmm. By you getting closer to your purpose, you getting closer to your dream, you had to go through what you had to go through. If it wasn't me getting stabbed, being involved in gangs, selling drugs, doing 419 and all them things there, and to have that vim to talk about my past, yeah? Flash wouldn't see me on Instagram. He wouldn't get my attention. He would just think, oh, yeah, it's just one brother just talking mm-hmm. well I know bagger man in the ends so what's different about him mm-hmm. facts right facts <laughs> <laughs> but I just want you to know be like a swimmer now people will think oh, what's this guy talking about swimming fam have you guys realised yeah when you watch swimmers yeah mm-hmm. bam 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 have you ever seen a swimmer that swims to the thing to the destination yeah and they look left or right they don't look left or right they don't even know if they're one yet. Mm, yeah? The only time they know they're one is once they reach the destination and they start looking looking up into the back and they see the screen and they see their name on there. Mm. 
So that's what I say, people, let's be like swimmers. Stop looking left and right, man. Yes, people have, people have achieved this. People got this much money. Right, this person only started a year ago. They got millies already. Mm. You don't know what they're doing behind closed doors. 100%. <laughs> Let's keep it real, right? For real. You don't know what they do behind closed doors. cheating. Man. Listen, they could be doing, <laughs> listen, they could be madness. They could be doing black magic. They could be doing, <laughs> yo. Bend over. Bend <laughs> over, you know what I'm saying? Like, with some yeah. old, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you see, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With some old, don't know what listen, doing. we don't know what they're doing. We can't things with face value and yo. feel like we ain't doing enough. Yo, you Just see a couple of man them with some old guys and you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Mmm, mm. now you got a rolly. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> you know? Funky, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's smelling a bit funky, <laughs> man. <laughs> I see you moving your hand a bit. <laughs> no, Come on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can smell it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just, you know what I'm saying. So, so true. guys, my like, just know, man. Your, 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 whatever you're going through, it's all about your mindset, man. Mm -hmm. It's your mindset. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right now you're broke. Right, what can you do to go gay? in a good way because think about your future the reason why a lot of you them doing what they do now mm -hmm. they thinking about now mm -hmm. rah okay Jay got the new Je Jordans and that I say mm -hmm. no more oh, he thinks he's flashy next week watch me mm -hmm. now I get the Jordans yeah and now Jay's thinking oh yeah oh you trying to say no more I'm getting a rollie mm -hmm. now I'm thinking Jay got the Jordan in the road allow it you know what I'm saying I'm gonna get that v uh, LV bag so you're always in competition with someone. Mm. But if you move like a swimmer and you just get to your destination, mm. head down and you're just going to, who are you looking left and right to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Come on. You understand? It just slows you down, basically. Slows you down. But do you believe that if you don't see money, you can never see it like that? Because I feel like if you don't go for a period where you saw money. Mm. Facts. It's hard for you to ever know what it, like, what, what the lap, the excessive spending is like. So if you never really touch no money, <laughs> wow, hey. wow. You know what I'm saying? So like a lot of people are, are you're always looking out to it. Yeah, you're always looking up to it. So you mm. whatever money you get, mm. you actually flood it straight. But if you stack for a little bit, <laughs> say, say for instance, that a man that's getting his money stacks for a little bit, and mm -hmm. he's got thirty grand sitting, fifty grand Common. sitting. Yeah. He goes out and spunks ten one day. Mm. That will teach you so much. Facts. Because you realize it's like. You just, but you need to have but a lot of people just spend as they're getting it as well so they don't yeah. ever get to spend spending their re that yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah come on now doing double work yes. yeah. no yeah, discipline really. no discipline no discipline not even one bit do you know what what Jay just said yeah is actually a big thing because one, one time I said I said I said to my missus yeah I was like yo babe I wish everyone had money Mm. To understand that you just having money shows that you're really broke. Do you understand? Like what broke changes. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Exactly that. Because if the only thing that you have is money, I feel sorry for you. Man. Yeah, for real. <laughs> that's all that you got. Facts, mm -hmm. you know? And that's why I said I wish everyone had money because two things with money. I've seen people switching up hard. Yo. Once they touch a bit of money, you know, yeah. they start moving different. Mm. If they owe you a little money. If they owe you, listen, <laughs> it can even be 20 pounds. Ah, uh, fam, I don't, I don't have it right now. You see on Snapchat, yeah, he's just opening the white bottle. I'm like, all right, okay. <laughs> you see, so this is one thing that I, I wish everyone had money to understand that. There's one thing about money. If you're chasing money, you will never have money. Yeah, 100%. if you chase the money, you never have money. Mm -hmm. Since I stopped chasing money and I've been doing this trading thing with the missus, mm -hmm. the money comes to us. Yeah, facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. it's just a bit. It's just a, a part of what the building. It's just a part. Mm -hmm. and this is what people have to understand. People want to see bam. Yeah. If I don't get in 10 seconds, it's pointless. Snapchat. Yeah. That's Snapchat life. You understand? If I don't get in 10 seconds, what's the point? Yeah. Longevity, B. 100%, that's what it's about. Come on, what did, come on. But if you didn't get, Surviving, like, survival. I, I, I know without you even saying it, yeah. 
you had a kind of lifestyle where you you was able to spend excessively. Yes. Yeah. You yes. know what yes. I mean? Like you've had a lifestyle yeah. you could spend excessively. Yes. So you can appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. So you can appreciate. Yeah. Yes. But you also get tired. Like even when mm. you like. Yeah, chasing it is yeah. like, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All this chasing. <laughs> All this chasing and running behind. What is it really for? Get out of Yeah, like, come on. I'm getting tired. Like. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's when you start looking for other things. Like, some of your friends will still be happy with it. Yeah. When mm. you're sitting there like this with bare bags around you, jewelry yeah. on yeah. and shit. Yeah. Because yeah. it's something yeah. missing. Yeah, something course. missing yeah, come on money can't bring the happiness <laughs> yo facts you see what flash just said money can't bring happiness because let's think of this yeah exactly. we have a lot of millionaires billionaires that commit suicide right mm. mm-hmm. you know how some of the money say if i have this much money bro life will change family the reason why you're saying that's because you never had money <laughs> 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 to start off with right <laughs> yeah 100 100 let's keep it clear yeah crystal the reason why these people are thinking of suicide is because they found money before they found pain. Mm. Do you understand? They found money before they found pain. Jeez. Yeah? And that's why, you see, right now I'm writing a book, yeah? Called mm. The Power of Pain. Big. And one of the chapters is called B plus B plus B plus B equals B. Yeah, and people will probably think, "What is he talking about?" <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, oh, no. <laughs> like, like, all I'm hearing is B. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I know from it. It is what it is. <laughs> what it is. <laughs> what it is. It I will saw, always be. <laughs> <laughs> the way I saw you and Flash looking at me, you're like, <laughs> "What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alphabets? <laughs> it's in. It's oh, mud. Yeah. You see." But let me elaborate on this. Break it down. The paragraph here yeah, that I'm talking about is. Being born black and broke is a blessing. Ooh. Being born black and broke is a blessing. Okay. Why am I saying that? Because it's the truth. Because it's the truth. Why do I say B plus B plus B plus B equals B? Because if you were born rich, you wouldn't know about the struggle. Mm. As soon as you feel a bit of struggle, you start panicking. Oh, what should I yeah, do? For real, you might, you might hang yourself. You might hang yourself. But if you're born black and broke, you got the hunger. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You get the money, you know how to get it back if you lose it. Mm-hmm. What? 100 mil gone, I'll get it back. Mm-hmm. Maybe not soon, but I know I can get it back. Mm-hmm. But if you're born in wealth and it's just there for you and you lose it, oh my God. Mm, I had one million and my dad left it for me and I never <laughs> worked in my life. Mad. Yes. You might end up on the streets. Someone leaves you, yeah. They can't deal with any pain. So what the mm. boyfriend says, oh, I'm done with you. Or the girlfriend says, I'm done with you. He's yeah. like, you're done with me. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love that. You see what Jay just said there, yeah? Mm. You see what Jay just said there? And this comes to my, uh, my other thing that I'm mentioning mm. in my book as well. Yeah? And I want to get you guys with it right now. Mm. One of the um, paragraphs is called, I believe in you. Yeah? Okay. Now I want you lot to listen to me carefully. Mm-hmm. You see, we have two types of I believe in you, all right? Mm-hmm. The first type is the one that everyone knows. I believe in you, Jay. Mm-hmm. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Flash, come on, man. This podcast mm-hmm. thing, you're going big. You're mm-hmm. going to go global. Mm-hmm. I believe in you. Mm-hmm. And we've got the second bit of I believe in you that a lot of people don't deep it when a person says it. Yeah? I believe in you. I'm going. I'm going. I believe in you. Okay. I believe in you once I see that you're stepping up. I believe in you once I know you're patterning up. Mm. I believe in you <laughs> once I see that you're making the money. <laughs> so now you, now Flash and Jay will sit there and be like, Ra, how come my brethren's left me? <laughs> they said to you in the beginning, I believe in you. <laughs> I believe, I believe in, your in your ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah. yeah? But yeah. because you're so used to the I believe in you as in I believe in your craft and I mm. believe in you as a person, mm. you didn't really think about the second bit, I mm. believe in you. Mm. So now that you're finding yourself, that you believe in yourself, that you fly in sky high, mm. hella man, them are just leaving you. Mm. And you think to yourself, Ra, what have I done wrong? Listen, they said to you in the beginning, I believe in you. <laughs> but that's why you have to know how to separate sugar from um, salt. Because mm. if you see it from far, it's yeah, white. The both uh-huh. looks the same. 
But what mm. do you have to do? Taste it to know that one is sweet mm. and one is That's sweet. it, 100%. So when you hear people saying, I believe in you, mm-hmm. think twice. Mm-hmm. You see it? Actions are the biggest. I, I like yeah. to use the word faith when we believe in Come on. as well. So Come on. Yeah. Actions are the, the, the biggest way to know that someone believes in you. Yeah, words and actions are two different things. What's up, cheap facts? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, straight, yeah, straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on. And that's what people that understand they get confused between people that. You know, absolutely, they, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. No, definitely. You know, hundred percent. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So, when you're talking about your book, when's, when's your book? When's, when the people due to see the book? Yes. Yourself? Listen, by the grace of God, yeah. I'm looking to uh, publish it by the end of this year. I'll say by November, mm-hmm. yeah? Let me put my, myself under pressure and say November. Yes. You know, like November. that? I'll say mid-November. All right, cool. Yeah. You're going to be back when the book's, book's released. Come on, come mm-hmm. on, come on straight. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? The power of pain. Mm-hmm. Where I'm, I'm going deep. Like, listen, I'm, e- I'm going to give you some passages now. I'm even going to talk about something that's going on right now. Mm-hmm. And that passage, I call it, KKK, yeah, okay. and I said, Ra, we done well. We don't need the KKK anymore. Cause right now we have the KKK in UK, but even around the world, you guys probably reading this and thinking, what does this guy mean about KKK? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about kids killing kids. So we don't even need the KKK anymore to kill us black people because now the kids are killing kids. Mm-hmm. Oh no, let me rephrase that. Kings are killing kings. Jeez. Ah no, let me rephrase that. Kwame is killing Kofi and Kofi is killing Kwabana. <laughs> oh, my golden brothers are gone now. We don't Jeez. need the KKK. So how can we stop this? I used to be in the KKK myself because when I was stabbing someone, I felt like I wanted to kill them, not knowing that I'm killing myself. Mm. But in order for us to be somewhere, we need the queens to be somewhere too. So stop saying black girl, black guys are trash and black guys are doing this and that if you have to raise a black king. Mm-hmm. So does it mean that you say to your own son that he's trash too? I thought so. Mm-hmm. But when you link a black guy, you say every guy's the same. No, you're just linking the same guys. <laughs> 100. You see? So in this book now, yeah, I'm going deep. Mm. I'm t- listen. I'm touching nerves. Yeah. You see, and as you guys, as you guys can tell, <laughs> isn't it? I play with words. Yeah, I see you see that. So, <laughs> <laughs> you in the K's, then you flipping the B's. <laughs> listen, but when you break it down, it's like, jeez. It's like you know what I'm saying. Fire. But if you just listen to me, you'd be like, this guy's just talking <laughs> shit. Yeah, it just says B and B and B and B and. Plus, Once he breaks it down, but yeah, first yeah, we just yeah. heard the first. Oh, B&B, well, I feel like we're at a time where people are ready to listen a bit. Yeah. Yes. We're so yeah, used to what, what yeah. was that we're not mm-hmm. accepting what is now. Yes. And people, yeah, they, they, but even due to the fact that they're realizing some of these conspiracies uh, are well, starting to be some, you know, yeah, yeah. some of these conspiracies. <laughs> Must start looking out the true. window. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Mm. So they start listening to the people that are talking and stuff that mm-hmm. makes sense and powerful stuff. You're talking powerful stuff. You can't even be denied. You can't ignore it, man. You try and act like you're. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Yeah, for real. Yeah, I can take it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I feel like a a day will come, yeah? Maybe even if they don't take it in now. Yeah? You see Mm -hmm. it in the beginning when we were talking about rock bottom. Yeah. Once they hit, yeah? Once they hit something and they realize, oh my God, there's a resistance, they they will look at this video, listen to the words that we're saying, and be like, Mm-hmm. These men were talking about this 20 years ago. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. These men were talking about this 20 years ago. Like, Flash done this in 2021. I'm 20 now, and it's 2041, and I'll get it. Mm-hmm. Shit. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, no, and that's what I'm saying. Like, wh- whatever you guys are doing, or the people in general, don't look at the now. It's, it's mm-hmm. for the next generation. It's for the future. It's for the future. It's bigger. That's why I said it's bigger than us. You it's know what I mean? It's bigger than us, my guy. But mm-hmm. even for you to be able to, this is why it's important about content. It's like, even for you to be able to 
chop it up and people to hear the whole thing. You know, like how mm -hmm. other people, other guests, like, come on, like, come chop on. it up, put it up on your IG, like, let people see Yo. how mm -hmm. you speak. It's real. Yeah, when there's true. a conversation, that's true. There's so many spaces that they're giving you limit, they limit your conversation. Absolutely. Ah, yeah, oh, man, talk, talk, Jay, man. Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Limit Real. Where you're supposed to go with it mm -hmm. as well. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like you, when you know where you're in a comfortable space. Like, wow. Just flow. Mm -hmm. Power. Yes, yeah, I mean. oh, okay. but, that, but that's why it's so hard yeah guys mm -hmm. please correct me if I'm wrong yeah? yeah don't you think it's so hard let's say cool we're doing this now mm -hmm. how could I come sit on here and just give you like the surface of things you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and that's what I feel like we need to make sure that the nation knows listen just free your mind man 100%. you talking to another mm -hmm. brother you releasing Definitely. stress yeah, and yeah. pain. Hundred percent. You understand? So therapy within yourself. Therapy. Listen, while I'm talking to you guys mm. and and to the nation, mm -hmm. I'm talking to myself. Hundred percent. I'm not coming mm -hmm. into school, anyone. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm freeing myself even more. Mm -hmm. There, one of the girls last time said, "Oh, does it not? Is it not painful for you to always bring up your daughter's story?" And I said, "Nah, because I've forgiven myself." Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? It's part of me. Part of your journey. It's part of my journey. What made, you? Mm. What made me? And I know that people will listen, maybe mm -hmm. a woman or a, a guy that lost their people because of. And they'll be like, my God, this young guy, man, I feel you, my yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. You understand you gave the angel. Definitely. Well. Boom. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, you understand you gave the angel. Straight. Well. Yeah, he gave the Come on. There we go. Come on. It's deep. Yeah. Hey, it's deep. It's deep. So, so it's, yeah. like, it's not just the black But you was lucky because yeah. some people. Don't always get to realize it was a blessing and then just live with that hurt. And but that's them. Like, that's, that, maybe you know what I mean? So they stopped big. Their now, but big, you see, you see what Flash just said there, and this is with most. I would say ninety to ninety-five percent of us, when things are happening to us, we don't we don't realize initially what's happening. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's only years back you look back and you be like, rah. So this is what it was. I had to become homeless to see how strong I really am to see that I can still go get it back. Mm -hmm. I had to have this boyfriend of mine to treat me like a savage in order for me to gain self-worth. Mm. Talk about women. Mm. <laughs> 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 banter, banter, <laughs> go. <laughs> Jay's allegedly though. <laughs> he even gave me that look like. <laughs> yeah, like, look, wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, like, cut this off. <laughs> You're gonna be on major video. This boyfriend. <laughs> You're like, wait, hold on, man. All I see, yeah, Flash is gonna upload that video, yeah, and it's gonna be mute. You know when it's gonna be mute? You're just gonna see my mouth moving, like, <laughs> bare hand movements and that. <laughs> like an anime and that. <laughs> hey, come on. Hey, truth and banter, man. You already know what it is, man. Come God. on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nah, but hey. Yeah, but yeah. I love that. Mm. I can't be on what you say. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> so yeah, man. Yeah, something, yeah, they go through, they have to go through that 100% yeah. to... Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like, why are you going through it? You don't know why you're going through it. And that's what I say all the time. Don't just go through situations. Grow through situations. Mm -hmm. 100%. How do you grow for? But listen, Mister Free Your Mind, it hurts. How can you tell me to grow while it's hurting? It has to hurt because nowadays we live in a watered down world where mm -hmm. people want to hear the good things, 100%. the nice things. 100%. Oh no, it's not that bad. It is bad. Mm -hmm. Don't come and lie to me. It is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nowadays we live in a world where even let's say there's a race, yeah, mm -hmm. and you have to become first to get like a, a whatever, a yeah, yeah, a trophy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, they even give the fourth, fifth, and sixth. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? So now, no one's feeling the pain. No one is feeling the pain. Oh, oh, you're seventh, but you done well. You participated. <laughs> you participated. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So how is he going to learn to have the hunger to go yeah. and get... Oh, you participated. You done well. Mm. <laughs> no, you didn't. And that's why, yeah, you see, thank God I have a son now, yeah? My son is one. Yes. yes. Listen, obviously I'm always going to, like, acknowledge him, give him the power, but I'm going to let him know that, listen, you have to go 10 times as hard mm -hmm. as anyone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's all I want you to know. Okay. 
you became third, yeah? You didn't do too bad, mm-hmm. but you know that you're the strongest, you're a champion, you're a winner. Mm-hmm. Imagine you say that to your kids from young, mm-hmm. they will grow up being absolute yeah. beasts. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. what they do nowadays when they give like the fourth and the fifth runner a medal and say, oh, you done well, look, your fourth runner up. Mm. <laughs> love it, please. <laughs> <laughs> please love it. You say from the third one, that's it. No more. Love it. The rest, listen, you have to do better. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get in that top three. Yeah, top three. Top three selected. Hey, come on, get yeah. sent it before, man. Top three selected. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes. Because that's mm. where, like, we've been. The, I'm not saying that it was good, but um, I just remember, like, back in the day, there was a bit more um, hustle with the with the hoodness. If you know what I'm saying, like, absolutely. Yeah. Like, there's a lot more. more just, Ooh. They, 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 they're lacking mm. pain, so yeah. they're giving pain. I don't know if that makes sense. Help people, hurt people. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I guess but so. They're, they're lacking pain, and they're, they're seeing they're, they're seeing the glamour. Pain. So mm. they see the glamour. Yeah. They're mm. they're yes. Seeing the glamour. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's flash. It's what me and you were talking about before. Mm. That nowadays, okay, let's say I'm feeling some pain, yeah, and I want to do something to flash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will wait for my guy to flick to flick his phone first before I do something. Mm-hmm. Cloud chasing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're not really doing it because they want to do it. Real they want to do it nowadays to get the views. Yeah, that's what it is as well. You see, Asman points and all this points and all uh, ratings. Mm. Did you see my views? You see, Asman back in the days when we used to do something, it wasn't about cameras. We used yeah. to do it because we used to do it. Yeah, 100%. What? Mm. We don't even want to be seen on the camera. What do you <laughs> mean? You know what I'm saying? 100%. But nowadays, I saw one clip last time on Instagram. One guy said, oh, "Are you recording? Yeah, 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 I'm recording." He punches security guard. And then I see bare gassed up comments. Ah, oh, what a G. Ha, look at him. You floored him. And I was like, wow, the blind following the blind. Mm, that's it. The blind following the blind. No one for no authenticity. No, no, no. No, no. But why not? Why not? Because they're scared of being that leader. Because if you try to be the leader in the beginning, everyone will look at you weird. 100%. That's what everyone is following. What do you mean you're going mm, right? Everyone yeah. is going left. Mm-hmm. They allow it. Even though they really want to follow you, they will look back and look at the crowd and be like, mm-hmm. but if I go now, they will look at me as well. Because well, I was mm-hmm. looking at him some type of way. You see it? Yeah. You know, I'll kind of be a hypocrite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. As it's getting better, do you feel like, like you know, like it's a, there's been a very good pass rate, rate with, with the African Caribbean children in schools. Mm-hmm. The pass rates have gone through, like, really through the high, roof. Through mm-hmm. the roof yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And those things are not highlighted. Mm-hmm. You know that's what I'm saying, and then at the same time that's happening, they're allowing things like drill to be drill to be publicized. Yeah. Yes. You know, like, it's not even like you know, like late mm. at night. Them things used to be mm. late at night if it was going to get. Yeah. Of course, if. yeah. You know what I mean? And Come then, like, on. Now it's just mainstream everything. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That like, do you think that's part of like them knowing that things are getting better on, on our side, so they're perpetuating it and. Okay, so that's because things are getting better in the school system, they're perpetuating yeah. the drill and the gang culture yeah, in the s- public. Yeah. On the flip side. To flip it and to deter us from, yeah. from the enlightenment, I feel, yeah. I, I believe so. I believe it's, so. It's all systematic. And, <clears throat> I believe so mm. because it's all systematic, isn't it? Yeah. It's like the more you, 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 you publicise the whole drill thing, the more the drill guys will go harder. Mm-hmm. So now they'll yeah, think, that's it. you know what I'm saying? So they'll think, oh, right, yeah, yeah. okay. Mm. Oh, there's money in it. Oh, there's money in it. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, you're only getting respected if you've got points. Oh, if you've got points. You know <laughs> okay, that? Okay. I've got to get my points up now. <laughs> I'll get my points up now. <laughs> and then stick it on the mic and... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that people know that what I'm, I'm rapping real. is actually yeah. real. Yeah. Because it, it takes things like Afro Nation to make people say, hold on a second, Africa's not down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks. And then they go Afro Nation, you think... How, you see yeah. how big of an event it is. Yes. And you realise half of the... Where's everyone gone? Mm. So you were, you're telling me it's such big numbers. Where, I don't know if you lot remember, in 2019, before all of the COVID stuff. Mm. Listen, the, mad. The amount of numbers of people that went from the UK... Yeah. Portugal, Africa. it was peak. Portugal went, the yeah. Africa one in December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, the Africa, oh yeah, yeah. Oh mm-hmm. my God, yeah, when it was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like that the was opening big. of... Gla- people ain't mm. stopped going to Ghana since that. Yeah, no, no one's there because it was like an opening. It was mad. Like, that's like, it was peak. Like, you know it was peak. Like, it 
there was half of our population was at the, I don't even know what I mean, but it was, there was, it was yeah. silly. It was a lot of people out there, bro. Yeah, facts. Mm-hmm. And, and it's changed the perception of Africa as well. Though. Absolutely. Yeah. No. no, everyone's going to get land in Africa and then. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and it's sad that they really took that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> facts. <laughs> no, they want to. Come on. It's like an Afro nation to be there, oh, people to realize. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Aye, so it's that's mad. why it shows you that there is a lot of successful people because they wouldn't be able to go and fly out there. Yeah, like, it was just mm. like it wasn't just yeah, our one set of people. There was such a big number that you we got Facts. a lot of successful people. Yeah, and that, that that younger generation, twenty one and where they are eighteen to twenty five right mm. now, they do really well. Mm, mm, and it's, mm, mm. it's really not highlighted, even when it comes yeah, to the real. training yeah, stuff. It's not like, highlighted. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's true. When it comes to even wanting to be young entrepreneurs, like, mm. they're really it's true. there with well, it, man. I feel like we should pick them up for that. They definitely need yeah, because they don't get highlighted. They don't get highlighted like they don't, they don't get the hype like that. You mm, see what I'm saying? It's, it's very true, you know. It's mm. sad because then people start thinking, what's the point of going that path yeah. if that's not really getting highlighted? Exactly. You know, that's like, it. The works that and it's not themselves. popular. Yeah. 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 Your works, the, the works that you're doing is working. Yeah. 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 These are the kind of things they're trying to hide mm-hmm. as well. Of yeah. course, of course, of course. Yeah, come on, because they want to keep it down. Yeah. 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 Anything yeah. positive they're trying to keep down. Anything negative they're trying to bring to the oh, forefront. Bring to the forefront. Straight facts. Mm-hmm. That's why content is important. We have a battle there with content. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Because that's what I'm saying. Like that's why what, what we're doing right now. Listen, <laughs> you don't know how many people you're touching. Yeah, no, that's it. Let me tell you a fact. Yeah, you see. Let me tell you one thing now. Yeah. This goes on YouTube. You see one view. Yeah. Change your mindset. One view does mean one person. Yeah, of course. Come I can on. be in a room with six people watching Come it. On. Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> so don't just look at that one view thinking, oh, that's just one person. Yeah. Listen. Bucks, bucks. Yeah. Don't forget that while the person is watching it. They're doing Snapchat, Instagram, yeah. mm-hmm. to, to show people what they're watching. Mm-hmm. So that's going on their mm-hmm. social media. Yeah. But you just see in one view. Mm-hmm. Not knowing that there are six people in there. Mm-hmm. Everyone is doing a Snapchat, Instagram recording. Mm-hmm. So it's going out to many more. So don't get gasped by what you see. Because mm-hmm. what you see is not real. 100%. Numbers? Numbers, yeah, numbers is oh, please. something that they've used, that they've been using for a while. For a while. From views... Even when it comes to the banks. <laughs> facts. Hey, listen. Deep. You know yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. Real facts. You know, so, yeah, man. Let's keep on going, B. Forget numbers. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So we say the key to keep on going is to fly. Listen, the key to keep on going, firstly, I would say, yes, is to have a why. Mm-hmm. Have a why. Not just having a why, have a why that's bigger than you. Because mm-hmm. if, if you just think about yourself, you'll give up. Because who mm-hmm. are you? Yeah? 100. Who are you? Because there will come a time where you will hit the ceiling and you will know that with your own powers, you can't get through the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Yeah? But if you have a why that pushes you, that tells you, you can't give up. Because now you've got someone in, and this is what I'm saying, your why can be someone that's, 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 that's gone, that's dead, that's alive. Your why never dies. Mm-hmm. Yeah? <laughs> your why never dies. Just have to remind yourself. That's the first remind thing. Remind yourself, have your why. Mm-hmm. Remind yourself daily, have your mm-hmm. why. Secondly, understand that your past is not your future, man. 100%. Yo, <laughs> your past is not your future. Gang banging, slanging drags, banging F, thinking I'm that guy, getting stabbed, stabbing back. Mm. Who am I? Why should I? But once you understand that your past is gone and your now is your future, and even when you say that your now is your future, your now is now your past, and your future is now your past, you realize that time is nothing. Mm-hmm. So keep on going regardless. Yeah. 100%. So my second point was understand that your past is not your future. Mm-hmm. The third bit, never get too comfortable. That's my third bit. Mm-hmm. Why am I saying that? Let me break it down. Mm-hmm. I went to one radio station and they asked me, where do you want to be in the next three years? <laughs> and I said, in the next three years, I want to be at a place where I can say to myself, I want to see the next 10 years so I can reach it again and then extend it to another 10 years. 
And the person that asked me looked at me and was like, I don't get it. And I was like, perfect, that's what I wanted to hear. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys know me now, you know that I like to play yeah, around, yeah? yeah? yeah. So he was like, oh, can you elaborate? I said, I'm not going to elaborate, but I'm going to make it clear, mm -hmm. yeah? Never set a destination and make you comfortable to your needs knowing that you're going to reach your destination. Because the reason why a lot of people fail, mm -hmm. it's not because they set a destination too high up, it's because they set a goal too low and they hit the floor. Mm -hmm. You see it? Say to yourself, I'm gonna be a billionaire. So even if you're not gonna be a billionaire, you're gonna fall right underneath yeah, it. Yep. So you're still gonna have half a billy. Mm -hmm. But if you say to yourself now, ah, oh, Jay, man, I want to make sure that before December, I am going to make 100K. Okay, that's doable. I want to make sure I want to make 100 mil. Now, Jay's going to look at me like I'm mad, but that's what I like, because that's going to give me the drive. Mm -hmm. 100K, he hears it around all the time, 100K, 100K. Mm -hmm. So now he's going to think, oh, okay, cool. So even if I reach the 100K, he's going to be like, yeah, but I know a couple of them and then yeah, I reach there as well. <laughs> so what were you telling me, my brother? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what I want to tell you is, Make sure that you never reach your destination and you fall in love with your process. Mm. Fall in love with the process. While you go into your destination, mm -hmm. you fall in love with your process, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see? And that's why when I was talking to your cousin, I said to him, oh, what do you do? He told me, oh, I do this and that seven days a week. Mm -hmm. And you can ask him, I said, that's not work. Because mm -hmm. you love what you do. Mm -hmm. In this life, if you don't do what you love, you're a slave. 100%. 100%. You understand? If you do what you love, no one can ever tell you that you're working. Mm, not working. You're not working? Mm. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Work. My guy, I'm living life. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? I'm living life. Right now, I might not see the paper that I want to see, but trust and belief, dedication, hard work, mm. persistence, yep. perseverance, mm -hmm. I will get there. 100%. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yep. So never get comfortable once you reach your destination because mm -hmm. if you reach your destination and you get too comfortable, guess what? You lose hunger. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, but I'm here now, man. I reached it, so reached like, it. what's the it point? Listen, done. I can show everyone that I've done it now, man. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't mm -hmm. need to do anything else. Mm -hmm. And that's when you start losing yourself. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yeah? Yep, yep, yep. So these are the three points I want to I wanna give to people, man. It's not going to be easy. But at the end of the day, we, want, we don't want it easy. Because if it's easy, everyone will jump on it. <laughs> Very true. Yeah? So, listen. Very true. Listen, keep, keep on grinding, keep on going. I know what happened to you, it hurts. We've just been through the pandemics. You lost a couple of people, you know, a couple of your right hands. You know what I'm saying? You lost a couple of family members. But let me tell you one thing, people, man. If you haven't lost yourself, you haven't lost anything at all. Because mm -hmm. you're still here for them. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you have to lose yourself. To find yourself, to recreate yourself. Come on. Mm -hmm. The power of pain, baby. Just <laughs> <laughs> to free your mind. Coach, oh, out your baby. All right, listen, before you wrap it up, um, what's happening right now with you? Where can people find you? Yeah. I don't know if you're doing any talks at the moment where people might be able to catch you or anything like that. Yeah. Listen, um, so yeah, on Instagram, Mr. And then it's free, so number three, and then your mind, yeah? Y O U R M I N D. So, Mr. Free Your Mind. And yeah, as I said, man, I'm writing my book now. Look out for that. I'm going to advertise on my page. Mm -hmm. And yeah, man, listen, more coming. I'm going to do my documentary in 2022. You know, and it's okay. going to be. So, what's, what's this documentary about? Oh, it's going to be about my life, man. It's yeah. going to be about what I've been through. I'm going to make mm. sure that I, I take the camera crew to Germany, to Leeds, okay, to okay, London, okay, to Manchester. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Get a couple of my mm. guys involved. I spoke to them already. They said they don't want to show their face. So they're all right to put on the Bali. Mm -hmm. what, what, what Bali where? Where's that? Oh, like, 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 I'm saying so that's that's gonna be incredible mm. and yeah man like i hope it's gonna to touch a lot of lives mm. you know a lot of people and for them to know that listen nothing can put you down man you know mm, what i'm no, saying definitely 100 you know i'm saying so mm. what do you not think is one of the biggest mis misconceptions about quote unquote goonies mm. Mm. flash go with that first run with that mm. 
Wow. That's one of the biggest misconceptions about What's Goonies. Big, big misconceptions. You, um, that, as what we've discussed today, like sometimes a lot of people say Goonies and they look Goonish and they're putting on this aura mm. and this energy and they're like, like mm. Ryan, he's crazy. Yeah. And he's like, he's, he's a madman. But really, a lot of the time, as what Mr. Free Your Mind was saying, a lot of the time it's fair. Come and, on. It's, and they're acting off the fair. Yeah. Deep, deep inside them and they're projecting it onto you come on come on flesh and you're, and you're feeling that speak speak and that speak. is one of the biggest misconceptions of that goonies people think that they're these guys the and they're not really that person oh, that they're on. portraying to be on the outside come on do you think some people get misjudged by the way they dress as well because some people are really nice guys with goonies as well, well absolutely dress codes has changed kind of nowadays from our days I say dress code is kind of now yeah it's kind of yeah the people that we all know and how they looked at by other people. Like you said, it's a lot of fear and a lot of pain. Damn. Yeah, and the monks said fear a lot of pain, but if people actually sat down and talked to some of these brothers, yeah. yes. You know, like, they just want to be loved. <laughs> they just want to be loved. They just want to hug. <laughs> just want to hug. <laughs> just want to hug. <laughs> you know, like, people think that's just a myth. No, listen. No myth. Now, now, do you know why? You know, what I'm saying? But do you know why, Jay? Right. It's because they're put on that hard face, isn't it? Yeah. That hard yeah. persona. Yes. But but once well, you, man we know, yeah, like, like, like my brother, I lie. You ain't like that. Yeah, you ain't like that. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I allow it. You you fix your go, face, you man. Take, yeah? You might take them somewhere. Like, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were like that. <laughs> Yo, come on. You know what I'm saying? What are you thinking? Yeah, Why are you walking like that? I never yeah, seen you walking like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that is true. That you know what I'm saying? That that whole goony thing, and I feel like. A lot of calm guys, goody goody guys, like good guys, yeah? Guys that are really education, did it? Now they're trying to feel like they need to fit in. Yes. So now they're trying to be bad. And I'm yes. like, brother, you're not like that. Mm. No, we loved you. Because of social yeah. media, it's just amped it up. We needed you. Mm. Yeah, we, needed we needed you. you. How you was. We lost you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We needed you. And now you're trying to be something yeah. that you're not. Oh I'm my God. Persona. You know what I'm saying? And that's why like, I, I loved one of the clips that I watched there when one guy said, Oh, a lot of black guys like to use that word G, like he's a G. But have you not realized that all your Gs are in jail or dead? Wow. <laughs> wow. So so what's your definition of G? What's your definition of G? Real G. What a G. He used to be a G. Yeah. Well, where are all the Gs that are still standing? Yo. Where are they? Mm. They're not G's no more. <laughs> you understand? They're not G's no more because they're not what gun banging and no. listen, we're what, working. What G are you, are you talking yeah, about? For real. What G are you talking about? You've got a gentleman, you've got a god, yeah. you've got a gangster. Gangster, exactly. <laughs> so that, that you, you're Powerful. Trying be, you're trying to be the lowest version of the yeah, G. Yeah, the lowest Power. version of the G. Powerful. Gentleman, God, gangster. Wow. Mm. Jay took it there. Damn, Jay. Damn, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, homie. <laughs> Damn, homie. <laughs> Yeah. You want to be the lowest G. You want to be the lowest G. Mm. Your man already told us that we gods. That yeah. we just mentioned that earlier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so what G are you? You know, <laughs> what G are you, B? You know what I'm saying? And if you still the little G, nah. If you the, the if, if, if you the if you the lowercase G, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I said lowercase G. She. <laughs> no, nah, trust me. If you the lowercase G, we know. Like, listen. <laughs> Please turn it into, you know, <laughs> big G, man. Yeah. Let's talk about the things that you lot have seen on the other side of your transition. Yeah. In terms of like the things that sell it to the young people. Holidays. Oh, come on. Aye. Making more money than you even make on the road sometimes. Listen. You know what I'm saying? So, like, 100. Talk, let's talk about these things. All right. So back in the days, I used to think, oh, my God, making like what, two Gs, three Gs a day, it's a blessing. Yeah. But let me tell you something. Two, three Gs, you're not even thinking about your re up money. So, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Two, three yeah, Gs, like, talk to me properly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Even truth. <laughs> it's not even the truth. It's, it's like half or, or quarter of that. Mm. Yeah? yeah. But since I've been doing trading with the missus, mm -hmm. yo, we see seen figures that are incredible. Mm. Like, one of my mentors, yeah, the one that shows me how to trade, yeah. mm -hmm. he's making in a day. You see, I'm not, I'm not mentioning his name, so he's good. But in a day, he's making 60, 70 quid. And let me just elaborate, you know, 
the quid bit because people will think, oh, 60, 70 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 60, 70 pounds. But now, nah, listen. We still on the G. <laughs> 60, 70 thousand pounds a day in mm. trading, yeah? I used to think trap money was hard, mm. was the best. But once I started trading, yeah? Once I started trading, I realised that everything that I was doing was for no reason. I was risking my life for no reason. Why was I risking my life? Because I didn't want to understand. Mm. As soon as I saw someone saying trading, I asked long. How is it long if you don't understand? Mm. How is it long if you never really for tried? Real. You see it? Mm -hmm. That's why like, I'm happy with my academy because I got a couple of my young Gs off the road. They start doing it and they seen because what, what I realised with the youngsters yeah they're money motivated but that's what it's always been that's what it's always mm. been right it's just the, 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 mm. the I like the dialogue got lost facts yeah, so if you just turn to come and talk on the positive or what you said in the beginning on the motivational vibe yeah mm. they'll get pumped for a minute and they'll be like yeah but I need to make money <laughs> mm. you give me all that talk about yeah did the transition and now where you are I cool innit yeah. it sounds beautiful but I need to make pay, puppy. Mm. <laughs> but now imagine a guy that's doing the whole transition thing and that's making paper. Are you not gonna listen to me now? Mm -hmm. yeah, for real. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. And this is what I realized like um, last week, Tuesday, I think Flash, you see my video on Instagram. I went to a youth offending and program in mm -hmm. Tottenham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I spoke to some of the youngsters and we were talking, talking, talking. And when I started talking about trading and making money, I saw them sitting down like this now. You see, from sitting down like relaxed to paying attention. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So I've realized once it comes to the money and them knowing that they can get involved, mm -hmm. the game changes. Mm -hmm. Facts. It's, it's, it's fact. That's why, but then, what do, you think, what do you think has been what went wrong for our generation? We kind of got told things about. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But you see, with our generation, yeah, can I say something yeah. flash? Us, man. Mm. How can I say it so people will understand? We were actually very unlucky, yeah? Why am I saying that? Because nowadays the generation got internet, B. If we had internet... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that lucky? I don't think... I think you used the I don't, don't you think? There's, no. there's, a, there's okay, pros, pros and, and cons. cons. I'll say. Look, we got to, we got to, got to live life. Yeah, right. we got to live life. We got to live more. Uh, more. Uh, yeah, that is true. I, I needed to learn how to speak to your mum. <sighs> Oh yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's why you learn the manners as well. Yeah. Mm. Hi, hello, auntie. Well, yeah. However, yeah. they wanted us to Oh yeah. True. Yeah. True. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, if he's not allowed that. Okay, mm. no problem. It will go away. Yeah. Facts. Facts. It took. We took. You know what I'm saying? It took us no, a lot. definitely. Right. Yeah. We down, had grazed our. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the grazed our knees. Grazed our. Yeah. Play outside and that. Yeah. Yeah. True. 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 But here, what you what was you saying on the on the exposure side because of the social media that is yeah because I feel like with yeah. the, with social media you see with us back in the days it was a thing where we needed correct people in our camp or correct people in our corner yeah, yeah. but nowadays listen what camp what corner <laughs> YouTube yeah. type in Eric Thomas type in couple of the inspirational yeah, speakers yeah, and get that them there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Type in Flash's podcast, you mm. sit in your own comfort, mm. you're taking in mm. gems yeah, from yeah, guys yeah. that have been through it. Yeah, so I, I feel, feel like, you know aspect. what I'm saying? So in, on that aspect, yeah, I feel like if we, if a couple of men had that from back in the days, we wouldn't have gone the way that we've gone to. But then I understand what mm. Jay is saying about, yo, know, we still lived life. Yeah. We could be outside. Listen, when your mom used to call you back in, you used to be like, what do you yeah, do? Of course. It's true because like kids these days they don't really play outside like that. Oh, outside, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, there's not like kids outside playing outside, like nah. doing fun running about. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> climbing on the roof. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. No one don't climb on the roof no <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> when last time you seen the kid on the roof playing? <laughs> you think they're mad? <laughs> if you, you see a kid on the roof, you, you think they're mad? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, facts. No, serious, man. Yeah. You know, so mm. nah, I, I get I get you guys' points as well. It's mm. pros and cons, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like whatever you feed yourself with, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you feed yourself with, man. Mm -hmm. So like We're all one vessel at the same time. We're all like one body through God. Yeah. So it's like we we've been going through things at the same time. Yes. You know, like when mm -hmm. the times that God was using us, even when you 
see the people that God used in the Bible, mm. Moses and all. Their man was killers and they've been through things. Like, yes. Come on, yeah. everyone has been common. through that darkness common. to common. find them. Yeah. Find common. God. Like, Prostitutes. Yeah. 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 Without any experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, because listen, like what? God, if you haven't been through anything, yeah? Mm. And, and God decides to use you. What are you going to tell me? I'm, I'm fully in it. I'm fully involved, you know. Yeah. Now, Flash is coming to say, um, well, I've never been, you know, through the things that you've been through. Yeah, yeah. But I read. Ah. <laughs> I've read. I experienced it through reading. And <laughs> it touched me. Through reading and it touched me because the sentence was so long. And <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Listen, God bless the ones that been through something and mm. that's still here. Listen, shedding the light, man. Like, yo, so that's the most beautiful, man. Mm. Oi. The beauty of it. Mm. Big, you know, because you, cause what Flash does not understand, or maybe he does, yeah? Mm. He is leaving a legacy without him even knowing. Yes. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. He's thinking, oh, it's just podcast, get a couple of the people yeah. in there to share that story. <laughs> Listen, don't get it twisted, my guy. Legacy. Yeah, Why? 100%. My son, in thirty years, can go on YouTube, type in his podcast, show the man them, his man them. Mm -hmm. Mad. True. Fifty years, son, 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 son. Yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah. you're done. Mm -hmm. Legacy. Yeah, hundred percent. Mm -hmm. You know what I can say to you? Sometimes people. If they're not the right people, they come in this room and get swallowed up. <laughs> <laughs> you think to yourself, okay, 30 minutes, we're done. <laughs> you, know, you know when you give the cameraman a little sign, like. <laughs> oh, come on. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, come on. Listen, it doesn't matter. What's time? The message is important. And, and the energy right now is real. So if it's like three, four, whatever the weather, you understand what I'm saying to you, Carl? Because this right now is not like, this is what I'm saying. This is where it comes back down to my point, yeah? It's not work. No. Mm -hmm. We Trust. doing this, people, everyone that's listening right now, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, wherever you're watching this, we're not doing it for us. That's flaccid. It's bigger than us. 100%. If it was just for us, he would have stopped after the first episode. Mm -hmm. Because he's done mm -hmm. it. This is for you, for your mm -hmm. kids, kids, for mm -hmm. the next generation. Mm -hmm. We just want to show you that whatever we've been through, we're still standing. Mm -hmm. We're not giving up until we're gone. Mm -hmm. But the maddest thing is even once we're gone, <laughs> our words will still live on. Come on. <laughs> That's the maddest. Yeah. Come yeah? On. Do you think you started your brand forward for no reason? Mm -hmm. We're moving forward, man. Come and on. that's why in the beginning I said we're failing forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever we do, forward. Come on. You understand what I'm saying to you? 100%. Come on, man. Like. Hey, trust me. That needs to go on there. Listen, yeah, straight t-shirt. Listen, t-shirt. Get, get, get the hoodies out for winter. Listen. You understand? That's a powerful statement. It's true. Yeah, yeah. No matter what, mm. no matter what it is, we're going forward, B. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So if you don't have a camp that's mm. taking you forward, guess what? What's the other way you're going? Backwards. Backwards. Is there any point? No. So let's move. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 100% real talk. Without going, without going forward and failing forward, and people don't understand how much of a, uh, a recipe of success it is. Psst. You know what I mean? Without failing. How talk, bro. Talk. How do you even do it? Even as a baby. Mm. Yeah. The baby, the baby got forced to walk. <laughs> listen, hundred percent. Listen, that's what I was telling. Listen, that's what I was telling my, my yeah. missus. You see, my missus was like, "Oh my God, he's falling." I said, "Leave him." Oh, it's part of the oh, journey. Oh, he's crying. Leave him. Mm. Yeah, leave him. Because if you keep on picking him up, how is he gonna learn to? Come on, allow it. Leave him. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing with us. We can say all these things, but the youth man, them. If you don't wanna listen, leave him. Yeah, and that's why, like, when I go to jails and I talk to these people, mm -hmm. I say to them, you see, they say, "Oh, um, sir, yeah, the officers are really mean to me." You know, I was like, "Listen, are you mad? What do you expect?" You want them to be nice to you, <laughs> so so that whenever you commit a crime, you go, you happily go to jail. Yeah, of course. Wait, talk to me properly, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What are you, what are you, nice. what are you telling me? <laughs> what? They're, yeah, they're not nice to me. Not what nice. do you want them to do? Yeah, but sometimes I say good morning. They look at me like I said, that's good. Yeah. yeah? They need to make you understand mm. that right now it's a training camp. Use this as you're safe when you're alone, because when you're out there. 
you get polluted by all these things that the man are saying, mm -hmm. you haven't got your own mind. Mm -hmm. You might go to a college where the man are saying, you're from, what do you mean you're going home? It's only six. You know that you need to be home for 6.30, but mm -hmm. now you're moving cool. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, you're right, you know. So while you're in jail, understand that just because you are locked up, doesn't mean that your aspirations and your purpose is locked up too. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Just because you're locked up physically, doesn't mean that internally, you have to be locked up too. 100%. And that's why I always say to the mm -hmm. prisoners, yeah. and that's why they always want us back in the prisons, mm -hmm. because we don't come with slides and say, oh, so once you finish with the prison sentence, you come out, you have to get work, <laughs> you know what I mean? There. No. Yeah, what have you heard about thinking twice and not doing them service? <laughs> Lawe, you know, we talk to the mandem oh, because they see mandem in it when yeah. we come in. Mm -hmm. So we talk to them properly. Yeah, come on. I said, my guy, you're in here right now. I'm talking to you. You wanna like some of them sit there like this and they're like, yeah. what? What did one guy say to me? Hey, listen, even Coach Carter couldn't teach me. <laughs> I looked at him, yeah. Try to that one. You tried to, yeah. and, and, and all the men were laughing, innit? All these prison <laughs> brethren were laughing, yeah. So I said, I right, cool. I said, listen, let me get you there now. You said even Coach Carter can't teach you, mm. but I didn't even come in to teach you. I came to educate you. So he's an idiot now. And then his brothers mm. were like, oh, fuck. Yo, <laughs> sir got you, you know? I was like, yeah. Because if I come to teach, you're not going to listen, but I'm coming to educate. Mm. Yeah? So get it right. And he's like, oh, I hear you, sir. I hear you. You know what I'm <laughs> like, mm. Simple as that. Some yeah, of them, yeah? Some of them, they have like a fence in front of them. Like, like, like a yeah. barrier. Barrier. So it's like... Protective. Protective. So even if you want to try to come help them, be like, no, 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 no. Mm. What, the man that have snaked, snaked me, why should I trust you? I never mm. met you. Yeah. You know, so that's why back in the day they were just sending them back to Africa. <laughs> one way ticket, one way ticket, my guy. <laughs> why is it just one way? Oh, we're going for long. <laughs> you know, it's mad. Yeah, and then, and, and, and then with that, guys, yeah, I need to tell you a quick story, man. Yeah, man Yo, yeah. you see, Jay always comes with them little sub, 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 sub titles there. Mm. You see, my brother that used to live in Ends, yeah, because he was super mad, yeah, super bad. They sent him to Ghana, mm -hmm. and he was in Ghana for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, when you come from Europe and you move to Africa, there's a lot of hate, but it's the okay, fake, yeah. it's the fake hate. They imagine. pretend they like you, you know? mm -hmm. cool. 30th of December, 2012, mm -hmm. I spoke to my brother, I was like, yo, what, on, man? when are you coming back to ends? It's like, yeah, mom said, listen, another year and I'll be back in ends, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mm. I'm gonna be good. I said, right, cool, say no more. On the first of the first, 2013, mm. phone back home now. I was like, yo, what's going on? I spoke to my auntie. Yeah. And I was like, where's Tony? I need to mm. speak to Tony. It's like, right, he came back from a rave and he's just been in his room. I was like, all right, cool, mine now. When he wakes up, tell him to shout at me. Mm -hmm. 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., 10 p.m., allow it. How long are you gonna sleep? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How long are you gonna sleep, fam? I called back. And I was like, it was 11 p.m. And I said, yo, what one? Oh yeah, he's still in his room. You know? I said, open the door, man. Oh, I can't. I said, I cool. So one of my other uncles came to the yard in the morning. So that's the 2nd of Jan now, mm -hmm. 2013. Open the door, big bro, gone, cold. Gone, passed. I said, what? So I phoned and I was like, yo, so have you opened the door? They're like, yeah, 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 um, we opened it. They tried to play it all humble. I said, so, yo, what's good? Like, let me speak to Tony. Yeah, um, oh, he can't come on the phone right now. He's just gone um, food shopping. I said, he never goes food shopping, man. You're talking about my brother, what are you talking about? And then boom, I just hear in the background, my, my auntie bawling. Yeah. I said, what, go on. I said, he's dead. What? Yo. Nah, man, I'm not talking about my big brother, Tony B. He's not gone. Listen, we just talked a few days ago about New Year's Eve, how he's going to go out with the man, them drink and chill. Yeah, he's gone. I ain't saying nothing. Yo, I sat there. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't even check the time, but I feel like it was like five, six hours easily. Thinking, yo, Wow. For you to go to Ghana to humble yourself to come back, they went to you. Later on, we found out that he got poisoned. They said that they put something in his drink, 
Yeah? Boom, out. Yo. I sat there and I was like, first daughter, now brother, what's the point in being good? Yeah, and the reason why I'm sharing this story, guys, it's not for you to feel sorry for me, no way. Oh, no, mm -hmm. that, you know, yeah. like that. Mm, come on. But I'm sharing this for you to know who is sat in front of this camera, yeah. who is sat in front of the mandem, mm -hmm. yeah? To still act strong, bold, to still come and speak his truth, mm -hmm. to still come and motivate. And that's why I talk about the power of pain. Mm -hmm. You only have two ways, that either breaks you or makes you. A lot of my mandem are saying, yo, P, if you would have gone the other way, we would understand. Mm -hmm. If you would have gone off the rails, we would get it. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. But if you came here with no parents, your cousins were heavily involved, super involved, mm -hmm. yeah? You got yourself out, you went to another ends, yeah? Faced madness. Mm -hmm. You still, and you were alone. You're not even with a mandem. Why are you going from city to city? It's you on your ones. Mm. And then you still came back, created a family, have several businesses. Mm -hmm. You're going into prisons and speak life into people. Mm. You're a life coach. You're doing trading to make sure that the black people can find financial freedom and break mm. through from nine mm. to five. Come on, big man. Apart from everything that you've been through, my God, yeah, on, do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. listen, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm. And this is what I want people to feel. I always say that. Man. When mm. you see, man, I want you to feel the hope, mm -hmm. feel the aggression, mm -hmm. and feel the dedication, man. Oh, Yo, feel it, man. Feel it mm. that's it, and man. that's exactly what I want. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%, I knew they would. <laughs> <laughs> and I never even knew the whole story. No, 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 that's, yeah. man, trust me. So even caught you, man, off guard, innit? That's yeah, what I'm man, saying. What I'm you saying. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying, man. Like, yes, people, they like to feel sorry for themselves. But listen, it's time to wake up. Mm -hmm. Feeling sorry for yourself is not going to get you anywhere. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it right, make it right for the people that are not here anymore. Mm -hmm. That's what I say whenever I talk or I go to events, mm -hmm. I have 100 caskets on my back. Mm -hmm. I have my daughter, my nun and my brother at the front mm -hmm. and I can't give up. Mm -hmm. Even though some days I feel like I can't be bothered. Mm -hmm. But this yeah. is not about your feelings. Trust. This is about you mm -hmm. doing what you need to do before you leave. Mm -hmm. Straight just, facts. It's bigger than the work. It's bigger than just you. It's and your feelings. You. And your feelings. What are feelings, B? Mm. Past motivation is dedication. Dedication. Mm -hmm. so Yo, come on. They say past motivation is dedication. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's, come on. Nipsey Hassel said it. It's a marathon, B. It's not mm -hmm. a sprint. Yeah, you understand? Like, mm -hmm. Come on, man. So, you know what I'm saying? What I want to tell you, because a lot of people don't know that about, man. Yeah, but then when I come to my events or my speaking, then they feel it and they're like, "Wow, mm -hmm. this is a different thing now." Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is different now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so so, how do you do it, bro? Like, I say, mm -hmm. yo, <laughs> it's God, man. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, that's all I can say. Like, it's not oh, me. Good. It's not. If it was just me, I'll be finished. Mm -hmm. You understand? The stories you can see God through your stories. Yo, 100%. fully. Mm -hmm. He wasn't done with me. Mm. You know, he wasn't done with me, man. Mm. So it's only right for me to give back. Yeah, he's using you. Yeah. Come on. I could have easily mm. said, I right, found my lap, what? I should come to yours to do the pop, but it takes our 40 minutes. You know? I could have yeah. said anything to myself. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? And I would have been like, it's all right, because mm -hmm. it takes our 40. It's mm -hmm. long, did it? Mm -hmm. It's not for me. As she said, Flash, mm -hmm. it's bigger than me. Mm -hmm. So even if this journey was five hours, I'll still make it. Mm -hmm. You crazy. 100%. Come yeah? on, bro. So listen, <laughs> facts, man. You know what I mean? You have to yeah, sacrifice in order to gain, B. Yeah, well, definitely, man. Come on. Talk about the good things that you've done in your life now. Let's, 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 let's highlight that. Like, how was it? Good things. The fact that you were able to travel, even. You know, like, um, oh. How did you even access those? You know what I mean? The, how, did, how did those people from a. Business travel business and do the talks yeah. abroad yeah. and all that. How did it become an yeah. international inspiration? Mm. Yeah. International inspiration. Mm. Yeah. Mm. International. Aye! Yeah. From local to global. Come on. Come on. Jeez. Make me do Harlem shake, you know. It's the camera on me, yeah? She. Yeah? Ah, yeah, right I see I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
Hey, listen. I believe, yeah, it's because of me just being myself. Yeah. yeah? Not trying to pretend I'm being someone else. Not trying to come and be like, oh, hi, yeah, man. Just being me, man. Mm. Everyone else is taking. Just be yourself. Yeah. You know, be yourself. As I said in the beginning, talk about your mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because once you talk about your mess, the people will connect with your message. And the people, now, when you guys see my... um. My, my post on Instagram, you look at it very differently because mm-hmm. I let you guys in. Come on. So it's not just a thing like, oh yeah, that's just Mr. Free Your Mind. Mm-hmm. Listen, this is Mr. Free Your Mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah? This is it. And mm-hmm. I feel like this is what people saw. So they start emailing me. Oh, we want you here for this conference. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, is that a church? Is that okay for you? Of course it's okay for me. Mm-hmm. No problem. Yeah? And then I start doing that and then there's someone within the crowd coming to me next saying, oh, I'm doing another event, but it's in another city. Would you like to come? Mm-hmm. Boom. Mm-hmm. So then I, I just saw my names ringing bells. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And the beautiful thing about this is I can go anywhere and it's love. Mm-hmm. It's love, man. Because mm-hmm. they can feel it. They know I'm not putting it on. Yeah. They know I'm not exaggerating or enhancing mm-hmm. stories. You know, some of my man, them looking, they're like, yo, pee, blood, you're out. And I said, bruv, it's not just me being out because I always say this one thing. Me is you, you are us, us is we. So if I'm out, we are out. Because mm-hmm. when I tell my story, it's not just my story, I'm telling a story about a lot of people in the hood. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, but it's making sure, look, your instruments, mm-hmm. yeah. you, the, the instruments that you need to carry, mm. yeah, it's like, there. You yeah, know yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 Right. Straight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's so about Facts. Yeah. So I'm not mm-hmm. just talking about myself. I'm talking about a lot of people that are going through it, but they're thinking, Ras. Yeah? So with that one, listen, I can travel. Listen, taking the missus, Dubai. Everything is paid for. No mm-hmm. problem. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is life. You don't have to look mm-hmm. back. That's yeah? I used to go, um, what, like central with the missus, yeah? We're going for food. And they want to place us at a table near the entrance. And I say to the guy, now nah, I can't sit at the entrance in case someone comes in and it's a madness. Mm-hmm. And I need to make sure that my back is, 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 is face against the wall mm-hmm. and I can see. You see all the things that I have to think about mm-hmm. just to go and eat? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, family. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. like that. Because yeah, yeah. while you're eating, you're thinking, oh, it's one of the mm-hmm. men going to come in. And... So now this life is beautiful, man. Oh, so for everyone that's listening, don't wait for you to have a youth first. Don't wait for you to have a family first, yeah? create yourself in order for your family to be safe once you create a family man because mm-hmm, now it's beautiful i'm getting booked and and because of love sometimes i go to events for free mm-hmm. yeah where they say oh right now we haven't got the budget and mm-hmm. because of do you think it's work for me <laughs> i don't care about the money mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying this is passion mm-hmm. we enjoy it I'm gonna do it for free anyways, but if you offer the guala, of course I'm gonna take it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> she, you know? Yeah, come on. But this is passion. And it's not mm-hmm. free. Because not all payments come through money. Yeah, very true. Oh yeah, my get god. Blessings in other way than money. In other way. Yeah, Maybe my time was to go tomorrow, but God added another few years on it. Yo. Come on. You want a couple hundred pounds, a couple what, a couple hundred pounds? Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, the, the, the freedom yeah. and not to wake up in cold sweat mm. it's beautiful because i used to wake up in cold sweat b mm. i used to have dreams where i'm getting stabbed slowly mm. and i wake up and i'm like right i'm at home thank god you know what i'm saying but now my only dreams are to leave generational wealth mm-hmm. and what i want people to understand about generational wealth yeah a lot of people like to link generational wealth to money mm-hmm. but i want you to understand generational wealth comes from healing first okay healing yeah. mm-hmm. healing you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. i see a lot of people like to say oh i want to leave generation generational yeah, for, for my kids you, yeah for real how can you leave generational wealth if there's healing within the generation <laughs> yes you know what i mean yeah, that it's, like it's generational trauma still <laughs> generational trauma <laughs> <laughs> you see it <laughs> generational <laughs> trauma yeah. you see what i'm saying so how can you talk about generational wealth if you haven't even <laughs> learned to heal yourself yeah, and you're still bleeding 100%. on your kids? Yeah. 100%. You know, so yeah, man, like, and, and, and things like this, 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 this is generational wealth. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. This right now is generational mm-hmm. wealth. How many people mm-hmm. have committed suicide with inheritance? Oh my gosh. How many, how wow. many, 
Yeah, come on. So How many well, families have broken up after a pair, yeah, yeah. Uh, that a grandparent One parent died, died and everyone and you didn't get your no pee. more? Yes. <laughs> come on. Yeah, so you can't even talk to your own cousins yeah. because your uncles no, cousins have beef. ain't even yeah. together. Yeah. There's no unity. There's unity. no unity. <laughs> There's no unity. But they, you know what I'm saying? Because of peace. Because of, because of wealth. So-called wealth. You see? That's not wealth, though. You see, yeah, no. that word, wealth, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's not wealth. wealth. Yeah. Real wealth is that, like, inheritance yeah. and money. Yeah, inheritance, yeah, for us, money. Inheritance, inheritance. And I like that Jay mentioned inheritance because um, a lot of things that we in, inherit is pain. Mm-hmm. So if you inherit pain, how can we get the money? <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's why we are where we are right now. Mm-hmm. If you do get the money, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to yeah, do with it? Because yeah. you haven't learned to invest it. You haven't learned to put it in a trust fund. Mm-hmm. You haven't learned to put it into somewhere where your money grows. So if you have a lot of money and you're saving it, well, that's like not, not having any money because your money's not growing. If your money is not growing, then you don't really have money. Your money is dying. Because yeah. a time will come where you will probably need gold and silver. Mm-hmm. But because you didn't know about that knowledge, now you have money and your money turns into paper. That's not worth nothing. Two million <laughs> yeah. the same thing. Facts. 100%. Say that again. 100 grand in the right hands and 2 million in the wrong hands is the same amount. Come on. Yep. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Come on. And that's what people don't understand. Like, yep. It's money management. It's not how yeah, much 100%. You make. It's money, money management. management. Yeah. Money saying? management. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Risk management, money management, and just the knowledge of yeah. money. Knowing money. Knowing. Investment. Investment. And you know that knowledge mm-hmm. of investment is, is bigger than knowledge of money. Ab- absolutely. The, 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 the waiting. Oh, time, listen. Patience. Oh, oh come on oh, Jay man. Jay. Listen, Flash. Mm. You see what Jay just said there, yeah? Mm. Investment. If you haven't found time to invest in yourself or within yourself, mm. how can you expect someone to give you two bags <laughs> and you know how to invest two bags? I still need to invest in my emotional For... you know, emotional process. Mm-hmm. I still need to invest into my past trauma yes. mm-hmm. you understand 100%. so now you slanging me two to five bags i want to get what i want to get to show people that listen i got it yeah. Yeah. so you investing in people's ego and how they see you yeah. once they see you you see seeing someone last two seconds so once they see you now what else hmm. you're done that's you know? it. And that's why we need to find a way to tackle things differently and, and, and tell people to free their minds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk about your pain. Right. Mm-hmm. Not to everyone, but find like a close circle. The same way I came in here now, yeah. and I can tell you this for a fact, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's not every podcast that I'll go to and be this open. That's a fact. Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm Come not on. an idiot. Mm-hmm. Go there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love it. Yeah? But when you feel the right energy, and you are right, the right mandem and that, mm-hmm. it just comes naturally. Yeah. Sometimes even uncontrollable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> you know them with it? <laughs> you know? So, like, yeah. that's what I'm saying, man. I feel like the youth mandem, they close like what? Um, youth centers and that. Mm-hmm. So where can they really experience youth? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If they had the youth centers, we could at least arrange something where we can talk to them about finances, mm-hmm. investments, like, no, you can't go outside more, at least in South, and be like, hey, mm. Amanda, listen, I've mm. got this plan. It's, it's peak. So we need to find like a headquarters where we can build the, the youth to, mm-hmm. to teach them something, man. No, definitely. Mm. I agree. And it's more about giving them experience. Yeah. Because mm. it's like mentoring. Because I think that they just, they're so intelligent, they just need guidance. What? So I try, to, I try to make them know, you're ahead of us, you know. Yeah. But take, the, take their guidance of experience yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. you can actually make what you know work. You know what I'm saying? But like say, like Jay was saying, because like, without it, it's just, it's not the information without wisdom is just useless. It's useless. Mm. Facts. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Mm. 100. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 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 But again, reaching out, podcasts and things like this. Yeah. Mm. They can see it in there. They can, they can get the jewels, man. Yeah. Mm. Facts, That's man. What it's all about. Mm. Come on. Paid in full, baby. Hundred percent. Right, Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah no. mm-hmm. Anything you want to touch on? Let the people more know. Let the people know. Mm. Um. Alright, cool. I'm gonna say one thing for the man them, and one thing for the girl them. Yeah. Cool. All right. The first thing goes for the girl them, right? You have to listen to me carefully, please. This is for you, lot. Yeah. So. Don't let makeup be your foundation. 
Yeah. Listen to me carefully. I'm going to repeat it again. Don't let makeup be your foundation. Because if you let makeup be your foundation, then that's going to be the only highlight of your life. Jeez. Woo. (laughs) 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 Oh, oh, shit. Did I really do this? Rewind. 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 (laughs) Listen, ladies. And I'm not saying this to attack you, no way. I'm saying this to help you because at the end of the day, you have to raise kings like me. But at the end of the day, a real king doesn't call himself a king. So let me just rephrase and say, you need to raise people like me. Mm-hmm. Don't let makeup be your foundation that you're walking on. Because if you let makeup be the foundation you're walking on, then that's going to be your only highlight. Why am I mm-hmm. saying that? Because you're telling the man them to get to know you, but you put a makeup on so we have to get to know you twice. Jeez. What do I mean? So now you want us to say, I love you, but I don't even know the real you. And once I see the the real you, you don't even accept you as who you are. So I want to tell you, you see, for me, myself and I, I'd rather have a girl that can make up her mind rather than making up her face. Jeez. I don't mind the makeup on the face, trust me, but if you can make up your mind, then we can build an empire. But a lot of girls want to come and say, oh, I don't trust him because of past mistakes. Divorce your story and marry the truth. Divorce your story and marry the truth. Rather than saying every black guy is the same, I'll correct you and say every black guy that you dated is the same. Mm. So please give us a chance to enhance and experience life with you mm-hmm. so we can build unity, love, and knowledge. Mm-hmm. That's the message to the queens, mm-hmm. to the mandem. Listen. Wait, hold on, Master. Queens, are, I hope you took that in. Hey, t- <laughs> take this in. Rewind it if we need to. Rewind it, please. Yeah, Yeah, take that in like old school R&B, please. Make you free your mind. You know? (laughs) (laughs) Trust me. And for the man, them, guys, man, come on, man. I'm looking at you right now. I used to be like you. No one can help me. And why should you help me? Look at you. Who are you? By just what I see. But if you just go by what you see with your eyes, then you're better off just being blind because what you can really see is within you. I know you've been through a lot of pain. I know life right now, it's not the same since you lost some of your brothers and you really want to go after the brothers that done this to you, but go after what you want to do. I know it's hard because you live in the ends, but at the end of the day, this life is for you. So I want to let you know, I used to cover myself up in clothes so no one can see my scars and my pain. So I used to wear my Gucci, my LV, you know, all these nice things so people cannot ask me how you doing. Of fam, I can see that you're off the rails. Mm. But I want to let you know, if I'm sitting here looking at you, you can do it too and you're still alive. So God has given you a chance. So look at me properly. I'm not even here to just entertain you and to come on here for fun. We're giving you something that we can never get back and that's time. So please, man, value the time that we're giving you. All the videos that Flash is doing, please follow it and take it in because everyone that's coming on here is talking from their pain. It's talking mm-hmm. from that acknowledgement. It's talking from that knowledge. You know, if no one has told you right now, guys, I will tell you. I love you. Why do I love you? People think you don't even know me. How can you love me? Because I love you because I love myself. Mm-hmm. That's why I can say it freely. I don't need to know you to love you. I mean, <laughs> if it's about love and it's about me knowing you, I mean. You know, Jesus got snaked by Judas and he knew Judas and he said he loved him. So, Hmm. you know, let's be real. So I just want to tell you, no matter what's going on, be the first out and show people that you can do it differently. Because we need you, man. Don't turn into KKK. Kids killing kids. King killing kings. Hmm. You know, turn into better. And let's see a better world. Even if I don't see a better world before I go, when you watch this video, Let's see a world, a better world before you go, man. Love and blessings for the mandem. Love and blessings. Mm. Come on. 
You know who it is. Put it out there. Put it out there. We want royalties. Hey. Need our reference in there, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> she. Yo, yo, that was big, big, no, big, come big, on, big, man. Mr. Yo, man. Yo, it's been a pleasure having you. You've been Thanks dropping for jewels me, on jewels and jewels, and I know the people are gonna love it and get bare jewels from it, yo. Love. Big up Jay in the back, yo. Cheese, come on, man. Come Jay. Come on, fam, Mr. Real Fee, brother. Yo, man. I'll take Mackie there. You Mackie, get me? Rose. <laughs> it's making it happen. Rose, Mackie. Yo, fam, pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good time. You come. And definitely, we're gonna be, we're gonna be coming back. You got your book to release. Oh yeah, come on. You got your book to release. So yeah, after yeah. that's released, definitely we're gonna have that there on the table. We're gonna Same be talking about more. that and getting back into it and keep doing your works. Keep keep doing your thing, giving inspiration and, and touching on. people and changing, transforming lives. Come on, come on. Making them get to that transition. Come your on. pleasure to have Aye, you, my come guy. On, my guy. <laughs> come on, my guy. Come on, my guy. Come on, my guy. You already Yo, know, man. Chief and Bad, another episode. Chief and Bad to be. Subscribe, like, eh? all of that. Aye. We out, we out. TMB, baby. <laughs> TMB. Free your mind. Jeez. Skip. What? <laughs>